Hello, everybody. Sorry about the delay. I think I'm just about ready to get started. Let's chat. So I'm trying to recollect my thoughts on this. In terms of what we were doing last. Other than me feeling intensely disappointed about Wild Arms. That doesn't, that doesn't narrow it down to what we were doing last. I believe we were going from pillar to pillar. I'm trying to recall if there was any other... I think we did all the bonus dungeons, because they repeated the stupid four nights over and over again. We went to the odd headquarters. Hmm. I can always call the in-game codec, I guess, to confirm where we are. I think we were told to return, I think. But yeah, I'm just hoping that in terms of expectations for the rest of the stream, I do not want to have repeat bosses over and over and over again. I'm really hoping, you know, I don't mind some puzzles in the dungeons, but I don't want it to be like every room is a puzzle or like every two rooms is there. Since that was definitely getting very tiresome across like 12 hours of gameplay to be doing like on an average two puzzles <laughs> every five minutes. It just it just gets kind of annoying, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, welcome, Chris. So let's go ahead and pause the music. So I believe we could do a Coda call. If I did not complete one, I will I will know at that time. I'm pretty sure we did all four. And there are no bonus dungeons left. I know there were bonus enemies I could potentially take a look at. And I re remember saying that we'll do it after we level a little bit. Because it's possible we're just going to get some super gear and make it irrelevant. So that was my recollection. Chat can fill me in if they remember any differently. There we go. I even got the right scene. I think I even put the right disc in this time. Welcome in Parameter. I hate that I have to do that every time, Chad. That's so annoying. Small, small bizhog problem. Whenever you're constantly switching to disc two, sometimes it just doesn't. So yeah, I think we need just a couple more levels. I think some of the bosses, in theory, we might be able to beat. Okay, that looks correct. Yeah, and roll the intro clip. That also gets really annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Like we we seen that intro clip like thirty something times. I think at this point. So we'll do like the Kirby concert slash microphone ability. The weed was also Star Destiny, perhaps. So I just want to talk about one thing where I feel like it's not really my fault, but it is my fault. It's one of those weird scenarios. So welcome, Dango. I'm going to draw attention to this. So my thought process on what this is. I, I might start taking it over defense, to be honest, given that defense doesn't seem to matter. If up parameters is supposed to translate to, like, you do more damage, I would have taken this a little sooner. Like, I would have not bothered maxing magic defense before then, and just given a character a weakness in order to basically end up at that same point total. So it is kind of annoying that I don't have a good way of really testing of what this does. If this boosts my stats every time I get a force level, like let's say this is even a 10% modifier, that would make the game a lot easier and I probably would have skipped critical on one of the characters. I still feel like I do use critical an okay amount, but I don't think it'll be as impactful as up parameter. Like I would have flipped the order. Like I would have rather have had up parameter at three and critical at one comparatively with like this similar amount of points or like critical at zero, knowing that I'll get critical later. I do like advanced guard on some of the characters, but again, I don't know if I would have taken advanced guard over up parameter in the same scenario. It's one of those things where I did find advanced guard did help us once or twice, but I think the stat buff would have helped more. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like this is like this character could get more physical defense up, but I'm not going to now because I'm just going to assume this is just straight up a buff. So if we could get about eight levels, or honestly, or excuse me, not even eight levels. If we could even get four levels, I'm willing to retry the other bosses. 
Which I don't think is like a super out there expectation, to be honest. Especially since we're going to be gaining at least a level this session. And again, that assumes we don't unlock any other bonus dungeons or anything else. Oh, so they're still telling us about the raid points. Oh no, chat, which one did I not do? Uh... Selge region near Guild Galad. Man, that would have been real nice if it uh, marked which ones we did. <laughs> I thought we did all of them, but we did not. All right, chat, guessing time. Let's let's put our brain power together. Does Chad remember which ones I have not done? I think at most it would be one. Because I got tired of fighting that one night over and over. So for example, I'm pretty sure I did this one. One that was over here. I'm fairly certain we did this one. I left the one that was floating in the sky, but then I went back to it. So I'm pretty sure I completed that one. Hmm. I mean, either way, I view this as potentially just getting extra XP, so it's not like the end of the world. Did I go to this one? This looks a little familiar. Oh, yeah, 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 we did this one. <laughs> I just needed to see, like, one more room. That's fine. All right, so I'm pretty sure we did this one. Because that was, like, the really tedious uh, quake nonsense. So I'm pretty sure we got the quake item from that one. If I'm really not sure, I'm going to go back to the one in the northwest. I am pretty sure we did the floating one. So that only leaves... Was there anything in Werewolf's Den we needed? I don't think so. So I think... I just need to get an, a hint as to where the other ones are. This is a large island north of Myria, and others west of, west of Silverland. Oh, from Promethean. West of Silverland. Maybe we didn't do that one? Silverland, I think, is in the bottom portion, right? Oh no, we no, never mind. Because that that would be the flying one. I take that back. So the one near Gilgalad, I think we did. So did I just not do the one near Palace Village? Yeah, I saw the news. I'm not gonna comment on it. Alright, let's check let's check the one near Myria real quick. I just need to see it. We're only missing one tool. And unfortunately, as I said before, it, they just kind of repeated dungeons. They didn't really stand out to me at all. Other than, like, the annoyingness of the puzzle. Yeah, we never really did anything on this area. Hmm. Live reflector? Oh, maybe for the... That's the transport system. We haven't used that in so long. Boy, that really just came up like twice in the game and then we never used it again, huh? Alright, let's double check which one this was. Yeah, it was like the Dragon Channel. Point Flam? Doesn't sound as familiar name-wise. Geo did at least sound vaguely familiar. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. We were definitely here. Okay, so we have two dungeons I for sure completed. So, where is the other dungeon? I'm pretty sure we did the floating one. Sorry for not recording where this was. Large Island North Emeria. I think we did that one. Other ones was the Civil Land. That was the floating one. Near the Selge region. And the last one is near Gilgalad. So both of them are kind of on the west side somewhere. Okay. Was this location? Oh, the wind tiger said. That's right. Okay. 
Uh, was there anything in here? Let me just visually see which dungeon this was. We're having too many dungeonitis. Uh, well, I could see what this boss is. I don't think we went back to the Wind Tiger's Den. Let's let's do a quick save and see what the boss is like. Like, I have a list of those when I want to do them. I might as well see them if I'm right here. Oh, can... oh, that's right. I don't think we could save in the overworld in this game. It's really awkward. Well, we didn't really do anything other than, I guess, get the personal skills. I don't mind redoing that. That'll take, like, a minute. Yeah, it's not the invincible one. That was in the town. I know it wasn't... What the heck is that? Limb from limb ripping monster, Zolinge? Okay. I mean, I'll, I don't mind doing a small detour here to at least see what it is. Hmm. Uh, dare I... Dare I do anything other than speed up? Oh, my crest caps are, are not refilled. Well, if we happen to die, that's fine. We could go fix that. I should have checked that before I left town. Um, I could preemptively heal, but it's probably not going to do anything. We don't know anything about this monster's speed, which is a bit unfortunate. Let's build meter. See how we do here. Ripper Boomerang. This is gonna be like 5 million. Oh, oh, it's just a one-shot. Oh, well, I mean, you know, that's... Okay. I mean... <laughs> I mean, that... There we go. Well... The counterattack did not really do that much damage. If that's all he really does, I could still beat this. I am a little sad we're running out of revive fruits, though. So what I could do... I could try to- I could try to conserve some revive fruits. I would like to have at least five for the end of the game. Do something like this. Let's see if we could force her to revive. I think she can use it. If not, I'm gonna be very sad. Yeah. Yeah, that should work. How much is this gonna do? I mean, that's not a lot, to be honest with you. Like, this seems doable so far. I just gotta revive a little more. I would have preferred to keep the other character in the party if we could. Let's first aid... Melee to get points. I could try to buff my damage. Prepare to attack. So imagine this will be a big damage move. So is it possible I could just defend and survive? Uh oh, we may be in trouble. I'd like him to attack so he could get some FP. So why don't we defend? See what happens. Thing happen. What? And again. Oh, just is this gimmick just insta death? That's actually just kind of annoying. So this boss isn't hard, it's just kind of tedious. I think it's doable, but we have one item exactly that gets rid of it. I would like to put it on another character. Let me switch this. I think we have it. For now, I have Talisman. Let's equip the Holy Grail so Hello can't die. I think that probably makes the most sense. 
do some damage. I can armor down if I want to, but I think it just makes more sense to revive every turn. So I think to conserve my re revive items, I might just leave her in the party. Oh, and she's got enough FP to full revive. Oh, that's actually useful. As long as this doesn't do 4,000, we're fine. Yeah, that didn't do a lot of damage at all. Huh. So again, I think Hello is constantly getting stat boosted, or Vicky too might be getting stat boosted. I forget if they have the, uh... Stat up when force up, but it would be helpful. Alright, so I would like to actually do something. I think what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna swap out the Saurus because he's just so far behind in terms of FP. If I can get the other character to upgrade, because Bashley, I for sure, I think has a stat up when force up. I think this would be huge. So now I can first aid. Bashley can melee the belly. And I can just focus on buffs on him. That works. This is good. This is gonna build him a lot of meter. Okay. So now we can upgrade him to the next form. And I heal a lot, which is good. Get some bonus damage in. So when the belly's popped, I might use the card. Because that'll tell me basically the battle's over. So yeah, we gave him extra stats. I think this turn it's pretty safe. I think I can Valkyrie both of these. Actually, I'll Cosmic Ray. Then I could go use Access. Um, could slow down the enemy. Here's this magic resistance group. Uh, it make more sense to armor down. So it's not really doing much of anything here. It could just keep saying nothing has happened. Which I'm okay with. So I think we actually might be able to beat this bonus boss. And then we'll get two levels, which will be closer to giving us the boost that I'm looking for. So if this actually lands, this would be huge. Nope. Right. Let's use our empowered spell. So we're we're kinda e we're hurting them pretty evenly right now, which is good. Because I want them to be roughly even regardless. Let's attack the belly. Um, lots of single target damage, but nothing I'm really super happy about. It's kind of the problem with her spells. I'm just not excited to use them at all. Um, I mean, like, if I could lower magic resist on the main body, maybe that would be important for later. Please don't insta-kill. Uh, I didn't insta-kill. The game was really thinking about that for some reason. So I think every time he gets a bar there, he'll get more stats. Do any of these work at all? Oh, okay. That works. So again, we're doing pretty consistent damage. We're, we're gonna use the first aid here. Ashley's gonna attack the belly again. Vicky 2 can... I don't know. <laughs> Question mark chat? I have no idea. It just not an elemental damage. Sure, I don't feel like figuring out its weakness. Let's hit the main body with this. Please don't insta kill Bashley. Oh yeah, he did die instantly. That's important. Alright, we should be at a kill range, so I should be able to attack again. Nice critical. Critical sort of paying off here. That critical did 5,000. That's a lot. I think targeting the backmost form is probably the best. So at this rate, we know they're going to have like 40,000 to maybe 80,000 health. So right now, I'm feeling pretty good, actually. So I just want to keep building meter. Maybe I'll just use a card now. Well, it doesn't really matter. Just in case I overkill. 
Uh -oh. Man, why does it have such long pauses? I mean, he's doing 3,000 a hit. That's pretty good. So let's try to lock in that level up. So again, if he gets a new attack when Belly is defeated, I think this is fine because I've been keeping them pretty even the whole time. Also, does she seriously not have like a better heal spell? Does she really not have AoE healing? That's all I'd want her to do right now, by the way, just for clarity. I don't really care about her other abilities. Um, guess I'll use Saber again. I could try to use a spell just to see if it has a weakness. Uh, I guess. See if it's got a weakness. Endocrine boost. I never... Maybe that's to fix if I debuff its damage. Okay, so it didn't attack this turn, so I basically get a free attack with Hello next turn. So surprisingly, Vicky 2 doing something. So I want to compare auto attacks. So we're doing about 3,200. Okay, will that do damage? Oh, I found its weakness at one try? Oh, chat, that is what we like to call lucky. <laughs> Right, chat? That was very lucky. Although, I think I'm still gonna Cosmic Ray this way. Wow, that was super fortunate. Okay, I know it's not technically optimal, but I'm going to go ahead and attack the belly. I want to see how much damage it is. Just don't insta-kill Bashley so I can actually see what this does. Please. Thank you. Of course, he's got a critical. Now, how much is this critical gonna do is the question. It's still 5,000 plus. So even with hitting the belly constantly... We're now, we're now chipping it out pretty quickly. So I'll just go back to healer mode with this character. Let's do... I don't want to do last burst. Do I want to do banisher? I don't think I do. Let's do gunblaze on the belly. And I'm going to high break on the belly once, just to make sure I'm not out damaging it. Please don't insta-kill Bashley. Okay, he did not die. We'll counter his damage with a little bit of healing. So right now this is going fine. Like, this boss is definitely not on the same tier as the other ones that we fought. That's insane he's competing with weakness. So I do think the strength ups are working. Or at least Kirk Weapon plus that is making a big difference. So, okay, now now we can keep the damage pretty even. So I can afford to... Oh, we actually broke it. Wait, is he almost dead? Oh. Uh... Ultra GG? <laughs> do I greed in last burst? I don't think I want to. But you know what I will do? Let's dual cast. I mean, he might actually genuinely be de dead right here if this doesn't kill Bashley. Also, I forget if I use Gravitron on Hello. If I did not, that was a mistake. Oh, so he resists fire. Oh, so his body had a different weakness to the belly. That's interesting. But this should still do an insane amount of damage. So Vicky 2 actually doing something, chat. Give her a clap. We're, we're putting in the damage for sure. Oh, I did not use Earth. That was a mistake. Still, that was a lot of damage. Let's use... Um... Probably Earth. So it's not worth actually using elements there, and she can't do anything right now, so let's normal attack, I guess. I guess Bashley had a decent chance of dying there for me not healing. This is fine. Yeah, I imagine he doesn't have that much more. Like, go ahead, counterattack Bashley. This doesn't really matter. Yeah, that doesn't do enough damage to matter. There we go. She showed him the business. Alright, fight's still going on for some reason. Let's first aid. Um, I'll just keep attacking. She can finally start using Earth Element. Or does she not have their basic Earth Element? If so, that would be so sad. Does she really not have it? Oh, we barely have it. Wow, okay. 
This might actually kill some people here. Oh, pff, never mind. Got lucky. It's over for this boss. I'm out of kill range now. I played risky for no reason. But this should do some big damage. And GG. Okay, that boss actually wasn't too bad. I'm I'm not a fan of the other bosses, but that was fine. So that's one off the list. 150,000 experience. Hello hit 54. Other people are hitting 51 plus. Nice. That's a significant power increase. Got Ambrosia. Dist Dims acquired. So yeah, that was fine. That, that was more along the lines of what I thought a bonus boss would be. I don't know what his Ambrosia boost was supposed to do other than maybe counteract debuffs. Oh, is it... Oh, we got an increase for him. I, this, I don't think his attack power matters. I'll take it, I guess. I want to go back to whichever one was giving us HP every turn. Starts full health at the end of combat. That's okay. Yeah, one talisman on this character, please. So this team mostly worked. We also got a nice amount of money. So let's go, let's go teleport back to the other town. So yeah, I think our damage did go up significantly. Once we had all of our buffs going. So I don't think we can quite fight the other turtle unless I get more up parameter maxed. So I just don't think we do enough damage. Let me uh, make note of that before I forget that we did that one. The one for Chrono Trigger not the one I want right now. So I'm going to hit a plus icon next to Wind Tiger Den. And that one's done. The one in Helmets is constant HP spam. Seventh Moon was in the second prison. I don't... We completed Penguin Terror. I... Did we... I think we beat Kobold King and Zavorg. I think? I might have to go double check that. I, did, I wrote down what they were. I know I did not beat Seventh Moon or the Turtle. So there, that leaves Slayheim Castle and the Mineshaft. And again, if we get one more level up uh, like that, where we get, or not one more level up, one more encounter with that much XP, I might actually go be able to go beat the Turtle boss. Yeah, see, we're just like one point shy. Oh yeah, so she couldn't quite get it. So this probably would have helped with her damage. So we need literally one level to get most people at rank two. And even, even Hello could get a power boost. We've seen how stupid Hello is with power. How are we looking health-wise for the rest of the group? So Thesaurus basically gained like another 100 or so HP. So if we could get something that potentially buffs Hello's healing ability, that would be huge. Sadly, everybody's basically caught up to him now because we're power leveling. So the difference between 51 and 54 is not as extreme as when he was like 30 to everybody being at 12. So he's slowly going to fall off. But fortunately, at least our like base speed is going up gradually across the characters, which will be useful. So if I just need somebody to go first for items like Irene, we could use that for revives, for example. Um, Let's go save our progress here. So if I could do like one more of those that's like semi-reasonable, maybe we'll go refight the other boss. I guess I could try Slayheim Castle's one. Plus, I need to figure out where that other thing is anyway. I don't super care about not being at full health, because I could just heal while I'm there. At the signpost from the beginning of the game. Slayheim should be, I think, in the snow area. 
I'm remembering correctly. It was kind of like one of those awkward ones where we had to... Was it before or after the bridge cross? I think it was after the bridge cross. I think this was Slayheim, unless I'm mistaken. Oh no, this is the Lost City. Is this Slayheim? Okay. I wasn't too far off, to be fair. I don't remember where in Slayheim Castle it was. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Oh, never mind, found it. Uh, let's see. Do I care about these low-level heals? Not really. Ah, that's what they're used for. <laughs> the long search is over. So again, if this ends up being like another boss we could beat, the increased parameters might make a difference, because that could be why we were taking so much damage from other things. Yeah, I don't have a name next to Slayheim, so I just assume we didn't do this one. So we're fighting Xenon, giant monster of light. Eighth moon, maybe. I hope not. So sadly, I so Oops. lost control there for a second. That was weird. Uh, I could just emergency heal. Asaris can build meter on belly, and I can try to lower response speed of the boss. Oh, it costs 70 normally. Damn, I should have refilled the magic. Why are her abilities so expensive? That is so annoying, actually. Try to armor down Xenon himself, I guess. But all the bosses have a belly you could break. Okay, so the boss did not outspeed us. It's using barrier. Nothing happened. Maybe this is to counter armor down. Which again, if that's all it does, I don't super care about that. Nothing happened. Alright, uh, well, I mean... In the meantime, I could just keep using Valkyrie while I build meter. And then just test weakness. The other one was Earth. Is this one weak to fire, maybe? Let's fish for weakness. Xenon Ray Force. Alright, how much will that do? Oh! Uh... Okay. <laughs> well, GG. <laughs> Don't think there's anything I could do to come back from this. I'm just gonna embrace death. Why did he do so little in the melee? <laughs> what? Uh, well, that's just insulting now. I mean, if he didn't have a 6,000 damage attack, I would have been fine there. He's not doing a lot of damage. Was I just really unlucky? He's only doing like 100 damage a turn. No, I don't want to retry. That gimmick. So it's like, maybe I could do it? Maybe? I'm gonna, like, that one I could reasonably do soon. Alright, let's see what the Igwell Mineshaft one is. I'm gonna say need need one more level. Because I think if we get one more stat up bonus, I'm not even assuming that impacts defense. I think we'll be fine. So right now we have one character that could survive it. Uh, Bashley, I don't think we'll survive that either, currently. Because it did 6,800, I only have 6k for him. His other attacks don't really do that much. Which is kind of a shame when you think about it. Oh no, I forgot which we're- oh no. Wait, where was the Igwell Mineshaft? Is that the one on the leftmost continent? Shamar. There were there was one in helmets, then there was the abandoned mine shaft. Is it this one? This is closed mine shaft. One second, chat. 
I'm gonna double check what my notes meant. It's possible I got confused while writing it. Oh, you know what? I think that's the one that's actually physically in holst. I think. Welcome, Charlie. Hope you're doing well. So many mind sh The fact that there's more than one in this game, I'm like, come on. Please stop repeating things. I don't have any notes for which one this was. I'll see if that was a mistake and I just forgot to write it in. I vaguely recall looking for one here. And then finding it later. So this might be the one that would be too hard to beat. So right now I have in my notes. Meteorite Crater is the Vorg, which I think we beat. The Bold King, we definitely beat. That was in the closed mineshaft. We're very close to beating Xenon. Helmets is the stupid thing that we just need to outdamage. So that's just a pure stat check, and there's no skill involved in that at all. Um, and then Seventh Moon was Helmets itself. What was this boss? I remember fighting here briefly, but I don't remember what the boss was. Let's become enlight enlightened once more. Oh. Baited again by the hole in the floor. There are things I do not miss about this game. One is the fact that that just always runs off platforms. I swear they did that to be trolly on purpose. Like, oh, are you enjoying skating? Get wrecked. It's like, I don't even bother using it, because there's just so many times I just fall down a hole. And essentially die. What are we doing health-wise? Not quite a fool. Uh, we'll find it eventually. Yeah, how dare I want to use tools when I could just... Yeah, see, like, there. If I had swapped into it, I would have just fallen off into the abyss. It's so rude. So I do have it marked. Hopefully I don't have it mismarked. So there's a save point. I don't remember... I should have written where it was in the dungeon. Might have been the other path. Uh... Oh no, oh, pff. wow, it was here? <laughs> chat, can we, can I just say that is, that is deep in the dungeon, <laughs> right chat? Holy, this one is gonna be annoying to walk back to. Holy, I got so lucky chat, I went the right way, you have no idea. I could have been in that mines forever. <laughs> 20 minutes later, still looking for it. This is Master of the Beginning of the End, Ragu o Ragula. Oh, this does not sound good. Yeah, I think this is GG chat. I'm hearing the boss music. I think it's over. <laughs> I, I'm let you down. Yeah, it doesn't even have multiple parts chat. It's. I think it's over. Yeah, this is definitely an uh-oh moment. We may be in trouble. I'm pretty sure we're just dead here, right? Like, it doesn't really matter what I do. I guess I could just try to slow him down if I somehow survive. Magic defense up, sure. Let's try that on hello. One trillion degrees. Oh, I'm cooked. <laughs> this is gonna be like 5k plus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's about what I thought. Wow, we only did we only did 2,000 with like one of his ultimate weapons. Holy! I got seven mooned. How much damage does this do? Insane. So, these feel pretty stat check each. Oh, I hit continue by accident. I hate that mechanic so much. I hate that mechanic so much. Why is that a thing? I literally was just getting ready to go to the menu. Like, if I block this, is it even possible to survive? I guess since I'm here and I'm gonna reset anyway, I do actually survive it, surprisingly. Like, does he... He seems to be doing a set pattern. Like, if, if... Does he do anything other than this is the question. Like, what does he do now? Oh, no. He literally just alternates this for all eternity. Okay. 
Because it would, that I would say would have been like okay, because at least there was a save point nearby. No, I'm not continuing. Get out of here. You're out of your mind. Uh, I'm gonna make a note here. 6k damage, AoE, every turn. So, I don't have any other boss symbols listed. Hopefully I did not miss any. So we definitely beat Mount Chug Chug. We, bit, we beat Wind Tiger Den. I'm 100% sure we beat Kobold King. I don't remember which one Zavorg was. But the fact that I didn't write anything else with it tells me I probably beat it. Question mark. I would have to see an image of the boss. Then then I would probably remember if we did it. So if there are other locations, I am not aware of them. So with that in mind, we need to get one more level up. So I need to get 80,000 experience. Or Vicky 2 only needs 2k, which is actually not too bad. So what we're going to do... I'm going to double check that I didn't forget anything in the skills. Everybody should be one away, right? Yeah, every oh, except for Vicky 2. Get wrecked, Vicky 2. So, almost everybody at least has a point in it already. So that'll be good. Hello will be getting his first one next level up. I might use a lucky card, because they are farmable. If we fight another boss. Like, obviously, I'd probably want to use it on the bonus boss. Don't get me wrong. But I need to level more to do the bonus boss. Since I arbitrarily did not pick what the game wanted. I love that in game design chat. I really I really love having really ambiguous skills. And then if you don't get the exact one, you just can't beat it. My favorite game design. Let's do uh I guess slow down. Then we could do I could technically put revives there to save myself revives in the future. It's not the worst idea. But I think for this one, I probably just want... Probably just want to do more remote battery spam. Yeah. That did seem to be very effective on the boss. Like, if we made Hello use it, he... Like, Vicky's magic, I think, has a decent multiplier, but if we use Hello's stats, he just does way more damage. Maybe something like this will cover my bases. I'm going to save, so I don't have to do that again. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's fine. It's not the worst thing ever if it's not super generous with talking to NPCs. So we got to find that other location. Maybe towards the end of the game, if I feel I missed any, I might look them up just to try bonus bosses. I don't think that's like a huge spoiler. For now, we gotta figure out where this other location is that I haven't been to. So we got to the one that I think was supposed to be near Guild Galad. Is there something I could have only flown to? Maybe over here? Oh, that's Thunderline Cage. Um... Yeah, there's nothing to really do over here. This should just be the, uh... Yeah, I was gonna say, that should be the Shining Garden. Hmm. It's a Silverland. Seldge region. Unless there's another one near Gilgalad, and this one is near the Selge region. It's possible, I guess. That is Sacrificial Altar. Sacrificial Altar. Oh, this place. Remember that? That was cute. So turn around and you'll find your way with the switch on the pillar.
Then at some point we gotta go back to the uh pirate den. I wrote that I didn't do the flying ray point, but I think we went back and did that already. I think I just forgot to get rid of that note when I was completed. So where is the fourth dungeon? <laughs> That's basically what I'm looking for right now. Like, here's an area I wouldn't necessarily be able to get to from Guild Galad. Check this place real quick. Oh, that's Crimson Castle. Never mind, we did that place. Hmm. We did that one. A little terrain out here, but that doesn't do anything for us. Don't think any of these are real islands. Yeah, we can ignore those. Hmm. Do I just stare at the map and try to figure out where I haven't flown? Because at this point, I'm only missing one dungeon. Yeah, I think I'm going to stare at the map. Which one's the Seldred region again? Oh. Yeah, I guess we could try the southeast. So I guess that one... Okay, so, so maybe... I don't know. It, it's one of those ones where I'm like, I'm not quite sure where each one counts. I guess we'll find out in a moment. So we did the Flying Fortress. So hold on. This time I'm going to write it down instead of opening this up again. So we have... Find a dialogue. Large Island. North. That is definitely checked. West to Silverland. I'm gonna write flying one question mark. Seld region might be the one we're missing. Guild Galad. I think it was Ray Point Geo. Okay. So let's see if there's one over here we haven't been to yet. Yeah, we need more seventh moon chat. Am I gonna am I gonna have to uh just get like an image of a moon and put the word seven in front of it? <laughs> or or just the number itself. Okay. I don't think we were over here. Grotto of Lords. Seems vaguely familiar. The last time we had something over here to do... Oh, there's also... Oh, what is this? Oh, this is the Pirate's Warren. That's right. Okay. Disregard. Alright. So I'm ready to remember... I'm gonna say Pirate's Warren I need to write down for later. East of... Oh, no, no. I put East of Sea Tower. Yeah, that's good enough. I'll figure that out. Alright, so where... Where is this dungeon? Hmm, I love map exploration chat. It's definitely one of my favorite things to do. I love I love open worlds. That's why I play them all the time for this reason. I like that ominous rock. The good luck zones. So we did everything we needed there. Nothing to do here. This feels too far to the north to be close to where the hint was telling me. But at the same time, I'm not really seeing anything to do. Unless one of these is like miraculously the dungeon and I just didn't know it was. Because we walked back here already. Hmm. We went across the bridge. I'm assuming it doesn't mean anything over here. Or else that would be kind of upsetting, I'm not gonna lie. Double check I didn't miss a dungeon over here. Okay, there's nothing here. We go too far to the west, I think we end up in Silverland, correct? Yeah, so that we, we we went near Silverland's one already. Hmm. What am I missing? So we we raised the drawbridge earlier. Did I need to do that for anything else, is the question. Hmm. 
Hmm. Is there anything that... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Is there anything that's, like, immediately around here? I'm not gonna lie. If it's, like, up here, I will actually genuinely be upset. <laughs> like, like, I will be put in a very bad mood. Oh, come on. Seriously? Is this where it was? Hold on. Why, why am I... Oh. You won't let me... Oh, it's the stupid thing where I can't land on the terrain. Oh, that's so hateful. That's hateful. You really gonna make me take a boat there? <laughs> this one is special. Oh, God, I hate that so much, chat. Let me be very clear. I find that incredibly annoying. So this was allegedly near the Silge region? Really? Why wouldn't you put that it's near the other tower? There are other locations closer than that compared to the Silge region. Definitely getting annoyed at the game again. Also, it didn't move my boat anywhere near this. Yeah, like, it's, like, all the way up here. Like, okay, like, technically, that's true. But why wouldn't you say it's near this town instead? Like, why don't you say it's near Damson City? Right? Like, whatever. Stupid. So anyway, I annoyingly have to take this boat there. So there's no way we did this one, because... I absolutely would remember being tilted by needing to bring a boat here. We will probably talk about this in the review, inevitably. Stuff like this annoys me, chat, I'm telling you. When we have, like, the flying vehicle, there should not be a reason for me to still use this. And if it- and if it is still required, it shouldn't require me to basically... ...teleport it to, like, a really specific point in the map just so I can pilot it, like, halfway around the map. Because keep in mind, there's no port cities, like, all the way in the southeast. So, like, every time I want to do this, I have to take this really stupidly long trek. Like, you might as well just call this a loading screen, like, honestly. Like, we know the dungeon's here. We could have made it more easily accessible by air. And maybe we could have also let you sail there, and that's fair to have as an option. But, like, seriously? Stupid. Check my head chat. Okay, where's the where's the place I have to beach? There we go. Disembark, please. No, this is that not good enough for you, game? Apparently that was the magic spot. I, I'm having like sweet it in for boat control flashbacks chat. It's not a good sign. Like, no. <laughs> Don't want to be reminded of the boat controls. They were horrible in that game. The path you tr are path you travel to is closed. Don't give up. Turn around and see the road you came on. Wait. Mm. Oh, did I actually do this dungeon? Yeah. Wait a minute. We did do this dungeon. Sacrificial. Oh, I guess sacrificial altar is more about hitting the targets. Wait, which one didn't I do then? Wait. No, because the water's gone. We did this dungeon. We had, like, the super leaps. Oh, right. I'd oh, that's why I wasn't annoyed about the sailing, because I was looking for the item already. Oh. Yeah, that would explain it, too. So, which one did I not... Did I really not complete wing? Huh. I thought we did because I had to do the stupid spinny panels twice. Now I'm genuinely confused. Is there a way to... T oh, I summoned an enemy. Is there a way to tell which ones I've done or not done? Let's try to figure this out. Also, I summoned Electriggers. Which I guess I could try to take an ability from while I figure things out. I mean, it's possible the game is giving me the wrong hint. I'm not going to rule that out. Hmm. So we're going to have just normal attacks, I think, for now. Let's make sure we try to skill drain this. I don't remember if we tried on Electrigger or not. We at least have one ability she could use. Nope. 
Nope, no abilities. I'm pretty sure we did Muse, because we pushed around the statues. So let's try to work backwards in our memory. I think that was the one that had uh, Eagle Claw. I don't think there's anything we need to do there. Oh, I guess we could check. We should be... Oh, oops. I... <laughs> I forgot which one was the menu and actually calls combat. So I think what I could do, maybe I could look at whoever's level 4 is missing. Inga Frost. I guess we could just double check that we've gotten these abilities. Let me do something different. Attack you, attack you, train you. So at least we have an automated encounter builder in case we want to get the, uh, what's it called? The lucky card later. So it's good to know that that actually works that way. I don't think you had an ability. Oh, you do have an ability. Absolute zero. Oh, okay. So I would say it was worth it. <laughs> right, chat? Like, even though I messed around a little bit, in the end, we got a new ability, finally. Can Gremlin actually be useful? Wait, it hurts itself? Wait. <laughs> Wait, now I feel like the game is actually trolling me. <laughs> Wait. Are you, are you telling me she finally has an ability, but she kills herself while using it? <laughs> I feel like I'm being actively trolled, chat. I'm just, I would just like to state. Feels a little trolly. It hits everybody, allegedly. Alright, so who does not have their level 4 ability? Just hello. So maybe it is possible I went to the... See, I thought I completed the flying one last time. Because we took a break, and then I left. Yeah, maybe we didn't do the flying one all the way through. Weird. Oh, you know what? I think I'm conf You know what? I think I'm confusing one of the dungeons with the other one. I think I agree. I think I did actually not do that one. I think we got another item and I left again, I think, before we completed it. Because I believe that's where we should have gotten a new ability with him. And given that each item has generally give us, given us an ability, I think I can deduce that is 100% the one that I didn't do. Which is fine. Alright, we got there in the end. More importantly, we got a new ability, so still kind of worth messing around. Kind of worth it. I would like to eventually get new abilities. So I imagine her other abilities must be on this heinous overworld at some point, by the way, chat. Because you know she has to have like 20, and there's on average about one a dungeon. So there must be like a bazillion in the overworld that we have not found. Which is kind of unfortunate when you think about that. Oh well. Alright, so listen, now let's go to the one to the west. I don't feel like getting all of her abilities. So she'll she'll be what she is, I guess. Well speaking of which. Yeah, that's fine actually. I think last time it was like over here somewhere. It's like slightly south of the main island. I wish there was an easier way to tell where it was. As if you remember, Chad, it's just in the sky, so it's a place that moves. Let's try going more directly west to see if I bump into it. There it is. In please. So I guess I never completed his dungeon. I might have been scared that I was going to advance the plot. I think that's what happened last time. 
Like, the first time I came in, I definitely just did two rooms and left. But I think we got something that enabled other abilities. Oops, that's right. I gotta flip this. Or maybe I just forgot to go pick up the item after the boss. I wouldn't put that past me, to be honest. Yeah, so I remember doing this room like five million times. And then I had to misclick across. And I had to do this. Like, I remember doing this, so it's like, it's it's not like I haven't seen this room before. Okay. Must have picked something up here and decided to go back. You know what it was? I think we beat the midway boss, but we didn't beat the final boss. It's starting to vaguely come back to me. I must have picked something up that I deemed was worth doing the bonus bosses for, which to be fair, I think they were worth doing, because now the game is going to be very easy to clear. We did the, the silly spin. Uh, was it this direction for progress? But I want to go to the items. That one's also items, right? Yeah. That one I don't think. Alright, so I gotta do the opposite of what I did. I need to point it to the south. So do I have to... Maybe I have to hit it from here. Was it the same direction or opposite? Nope, it was opposite. Good, good, good. Alright, so remember this one being kind of finicky, so I had to get, like, really close to the edge. I... How is that not... How is that not close enough? Holy, I took, like... I was, like, right here. How did that not make it, chat? Jeez. Game, please. Mega Man, this is not. Like, chill out, platforming. I barely made it that time. I had to do the old classic half foot off just to make the jump, not make the jump with leniency. That's very silly. Yeah, we we. I'm pretty sure we did the midway boss of this. We must have picked something up that I thought was worth going back for. Because we, we we came here the first time, got the mist cloak, then we did the detour to like the crimson castle. So I might have gone backwards somewhere around this point. There's a passageway over here. This is not seeming as familiar to me. I think this is new. Hmm. So we have a couple places we could go. So this is a puzzle room that leads somewhere. Or do I need to do all of these? Maybe I have to do all of them. Maybe they're not optional areas. Go through here. What the heck is this? So we have a stone block I don't know how to reach. Unless I'm supposed to wind blast and then mist cloak? Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do in that room? take an encounter. We do need little bits in XP, so I'll take little bits. So we did make some people level up. You are Typh Typhoon? Typhon? You're skill drain. Was I thinking about stopping the game? Hell yeah, Calvish, and we were on break from this game. This game knows what it did. Oh, I one-shot him. Not quite expecting that, but that's fine. I'm not gonna lie, Calvisham. The amount of puzzles and reused bosses definitely got to me. Between, like, the you must do the four towers, now do the four ray points. Really tedious. 
don't feel like it really added anything to the game. Okay. And actually, you know what? I can reach it from Puka from here. Loud piece acquired. This must be the dungeons... gimmick. Alright, so maybe each of those rooms is a puzzle room, and I should just do all of them. We haven't seen where to use it. Maybe that's what the central room is. Well, so much for the I really don't want to do puzzles every two rooms that I was complaining about at the beginning of the stream. I'm glad that that took literally no time at all to just suddenly become a puzzle room. We have like a central hub and then oops all puzzle. I mean, is there anything I could do other than not flip that? Like, what does this do? That's the first time we've encountered that. It's kind of annoying. Congratulations, you, you you got me, I guess. Right, chat? Like, thanks. Sun piece acquired, okay. So imagine it'll be if there's clouds, there's probably gonna be star. One of them will be what if, well, one of them will definitely be moon. The other could be star. Oh no. What else would go with weather themes? We have sun, we have clouds. Unless, it, unless it's literally weather theme, then technically rain could be one of them. We completed all of those. I have to put them in some order in that room at some point, presumably. You were surprised. I think we fought that enemy yet. Plasma leader. Both of those could be nice if Gremlin ever learned them. Air slash acquired. Oh my gosh, chat. She's learning abilities. That's like an infinity improvement over some of the sessions we've had her. She might actually be able to use the magic stat that I got, because I thought she would be getting way more spells. Alright, let's see if we can get his thunder version. Because then we have ice, thunder, and wind, which is some coverage, if this works. Oh, of course not. That would make too much sense. Advanced guard, get wrecked. I mean, she should have enough meter to at least show them off. I might as well just use them. So, oh, so she's got a basic wind ability, air slash. Okay. Banishes enemy to doom, triangle all. I kind of want to see what that does at some point. Let's see how much damage air slash does. So that reuse graphic we've seen all the time. Cool. Makes sense, I guess. Oh, did we reflect magic there? Looks like the enemy took damage. Is that what that green barrier is doing? Do I have something on Thesaurus that grants that that I'm not aware of? Sure. Let's see. Let's see if this move damages her, or if this move is the truth. All right, it doesn't damage her, so I don't know why the enemy got hit last time. So she has an AOE spell, I guess. Yay. Anyway, I think it's time to send him to hell. I'm assuming this is just an insta-kill. Yeah. Alright, okay, so she has some abilities, I guess. We we did it, question mark. She has utility other than just meleeing over and over. Yeah, as I said before, I'm sure there are some good abilities somewhere in that overworld. Do I feel like fighting? 40 million times in order to go find it? Not really. She feels like a strategy guide character. Is that seriously too high up? Annoying. I 
I mean, is there a reason for me to not do what I'm about to do? Is there a reason I don't want to do this? Pretty sure this should work. So... Actually, did I even do anything? Oh, because I can move... Well... I guess the question is... I could win ballot some of these. Oh no, I can't win ballot these. Oh, that changes some things then. Oh, I thought I could move these. Um... I don't think there's anything I want to do with this then. Like, I could go... I... Can I not go between these? So we can go this way. I should still be able to go this way, right? Oh. I don't really get what the upper portion of that puzzle was for, but sure. There's the star piece. Okay, so that's about what I thought would happen. Yeah. I'm assuming this was the solution. If it was not the solution, they big oopsed. Oh, come on, game. There we go. So we'll go this way. How much do I need to level? Oof, 70,000 on hello. It's kind of brutal. Here. So we have different vents. And presumably I have to do a very annoying hit the puzzle in a random direction thing. Question, can I just wire hook over here? Or is the game not gonna let me go diagonal enough for this? Oh, okay, I can still do that. That puts this platform upwards, which I don't think helps me. Unless I unless I can land literally on it like that, maybe. I think I just fall off and reset the room. Maybe I'm supposed to be able to teleport to that? Cool, the weather vane gimmick that I don't like. <laughs> Glad to see it return. Definitely is it just like a long animation I gotta sit through every time. Love it. Okay, so now I could go across here, but that doesn't do anything for me, right? Maybe I did need it in the original position? I didn't think about if this would go across. Yeah, I don't, because there's nothing else I could do. Oops, I probably shouldn't have touched that. Just, I sigh every time I have to wait for this animation. That's not correct, right? It has to face the opposite way. Yes, that's not gonna help me. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do that. So it has to be facing upwards. What? Oh, 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 I need the one on the... Actually, no, that should be fine, right? I'm assuming this will reach. Now I just go... I am very surprised I did not fall off. I am very surprised I did not fall off on that either. Boon piece acquired. Okay, so it's what I thought it was. We're going for more... Astro... Astrological versus weather. I don't know why I bothered even trying to come back. Uh, is there an order this has to go in? We just have four pieces. Hopefully we just insert them and then it's over. I don't really want this to be a puzzle. Scullard Heavenly Pedestal. Okay. 
Not, not what I was hoping for. Okay, what, riddle, riddle me this, Batman. What, what do you want me to do? I pierced the sea of wind on the journey to the stars, passing displays of colored order. <sighs> I just feel like sighing, chat. <laughs> like so, I'm so done with puzzles. I really am. You've no idea. I, this is the stuff I don't miss about Wild Arms. I just find this very tedious. Of colored order? So... So, I mean, like, it says I pierced the Sea of Wind on the journey to the stars, so... I can assume it starts with cloud, and it ends in star? And then colored order. Is it bright to dark or dark to light? So, like, is the next one sun or is it moon? I don't know how to interpret this. Uh, well, let's go for... Okay, so let's start with cloud. That out of the way. Want all the items together. We'll do cloud. I guess moon. Maybe moon. It said star last, so I'm assuming stars here. Nope. Um. Do these need to get reversed. Unless I have to- unless it's not to- maybe it could be just from the opposite order. Maybe it means from that post forward versus the beginning of the room. Alright, let me put the cloud piece here. Let's do it in the exact opposite order. Uh, I think I said moon. Okay, there we go. Translation, get me out of here, chat. <laughs> so done. So let me think. I have four bonus bosses left, according to this. I have how many lucky cards left? Four. I mean, I don't know if I'll use it on the final, final boss that we do. How badly do I want to level is the question. I think I need one more level and then we're allowed to legitimately make progress. Or I could just get further in the story and grind somewhere. Voice reaching hello is hard. Hello, the boy to be sacrificed who doesn't know the answer. Are you calling me? Who are you? I am the will of power, the spirit of wing. You wish to liberate the ray point I control. You must reveal your reason to fight. The reason to fight? You! Know that only when you find the reason to fight within your heart will the ray point be liberated. If I don't find a reason to fight, then... Understand that it would be impossible. Furthermore, if you cannot find a reason to fight, the ray point won't be liberated for eternity. A reason to fight? In my heart or the heart of my other half self within myself? Yeah, exactly. Gotta add in the nonsense of earlier, for sure. An answer I've always been searching for. The reason I fight. I wonder what it is. Welcome to Muir. Hope you're doing well. I wonder what it is. Guy asked me the same thing at the sacrificial altar. Reason I fight. Yeah, we gotta do our best zero impression. Bill Jeldris says fate. 
No one can escape the wheel of fate. You're wrong! I could never risk my own life for something like that. Oh no, it's the other hello chat. <laughs> Village Elder is enormous. Well, chat was joking about the other half-selves, but here we are yet again. It's because you don't want to die, because you're afraid of death. In the beginning, that was true. But that's no longer it. When I thought of someone beside myself, I came into my powers. Who is it? It's... Dot, 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 dot. That's right. I want to protect you. In order to protect you, I decided to work really hard. Then, hello. There's only one road for you to choose. Please, just drop dead. <laughs> wait, 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 drop dead? What? Oh, that was Clut saying it. That makes more sense. Please, just drop dead. If Hello dies, Phil Gaia will be saved. Not just me, but everyone will be saved. And it's decided. I am the pillar. I have the power to protect what is important. It's easy. Just go on and die. Puka says, that's not true. Puka? I've thought about it too. That's the destiny you were handed. The answer hello find is a different answer if you looked. I'll think about it too. Find it yourself. That'll be your real answer. I want to protect the people who are important to me. That part is true. And in order to do that, I'm willing to risk my life. So then what's stopping you? I can't protect the people. I want to protect that way. That's what I think. Let's say I die and save Filgaia, but... If something happens again later, it's Klutz who will be the sacrificial pillar. To not be able to do anything when a person close to you is facing a life-threatening danger. I won't do it! That's it! That's right. The reason I risk my life in battle is not to save the world. That's not the only reason. It's also to create a future where no one else has to be sacrificed. To save the ones I care about, I need to prove that the world could be saved without a sacrificial pillar. I won't die. I'm going to live and still protect the world. This is the reason I fight. Good work figuring that out. You thought about it and found the answer. It's important to do that. It's all because Puka was here by my side. <laughs> oh, okay. But is this really okay? Puka's orders from Gaia were to turn me into the pillar, right? That's right, but I don't regret it. Puka? I came up with it all on my own. I guided you to a future other than the one you were dealt. Dot 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 indeed. Pukas are meant to have no will themselves, but only to act according to orders. What are you saying? What is it, Puka? I can assume other forms because I don't have a self. But being with you, it's able to think and act on my own. Leading you to a different future wasn't anyone else's idea, but my own. I found my own self. Congratulations to Puka, question mark. Right, chat? Question mark. Dot, 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 from hello seems appropriate. By discovering myself, I'm no longer Puka. So this is goodbye. I don't like it, Puka. It was fun. You just kill him? Well, rip Puka, I guess. Finally. Finally found a reason to fight. But then I lose what is important to me. Did you lose something? Uka, how? How can you still be alive? Got, I sure got a bad reputation. When did I die? What? But I thought... It's true that by finding self, the old Puka no longer exists. That was a step in transforming into the new Puka. Okay, chat, now we kill him for real. <laughs> Uka. Once in the Sea of Light, I, Puka, turned back into light. By gaining insight into self, my powers are greater because I can perceive others... Uh oh, excuse me. Perceive other beings more clearly. 
Though Gaia's life energy, Wang's mana has been liberated and is quietly filling up. Wing's mana will awaken possibilities for the future asleep and hello. Force high combo acquired. Hmm. High combo is a force skill for hello. By increasing synchronicity between Puka and the medium, the guardian can attack best. From now on, I'm gonna going to use a stronger medium. Whoa! I don't care what it is. Wow, I did it. <laughs> what a response to that. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> it was when I was reborn in the Sea of Light that I first heard it. I'll never forget about this voice that taught Puka about Puka. I'm glad I tried this. From now on, we'll always be together. Truly, this is the relationship that we need in chat. Not a low and klutz. It's a low and Puka all the way. That's right. Puka apparently agrees. Okay. Question. We get an idea of what his new thing is without filling up 100 meter. Just quote ultimate guardian attack. Okay, so I mean... We still don't know how to unlock her level 3 and level 4. It would be nice if she got them at some point. Push the mark. must be my next assignment. Please wait a minute. <laughs> Why is he telling me to please wait a minute? Raypoint lib... Oh, excuse me. Raypoint liberation complete. Mana, the lifeblood of Philgaia is free. Sure seems that way. I register an increase in mana here too. This just might be the ticket. Ask Maria Bull, Silverland, and Guild Galad for permission to use the live reflectors. We commence operations against Coupier Belt upon your return. Turn it once, over and out. Oh, we just getting straight up teleported out? That's fair, I guess. Here we go, chat. Messages from Maria, Silverland, and Gilgalad all received. All three countries cede the right to use the respective live reflectors to the arms. For the next 12 hours, all the live reflectors are under the control of the arms. We hereby commence the maneuver to capture the encroaching parallel universe, the Coupier Belt. Connect via the wireless each live reflector to the mana released from the ray points. Adjustment of the reflection angle. Imprisonment by the life energy mana. Deploy the trapo... Excuse me. Deploy the trapeziohedron. Ah, yes. Deploy the power of 3D! There we go, chat. We we contained it in a D20 dice. Now we just gotta play some D&D later with it. Let's just hope it doesn't roll in at one. Live reflector connections are okay. Reflection rate is down 8%. All okay. It's hard to believe Maria Buell, Silverland, and Guild Galad are all cooperating. Freeing all the live reflectors and fighting together. Unthinkable before. It's miraculous, isn't it? Recent enemies working together. Because all of Phil Guy is threatened, but there's no choice but to join forces. I've got to do my part, too. Raypoint's Telegeo Mixer is operating at 84%. Mana supply proceeding as planned. Everything seems to be going as well as we could hope. What is the capture ratio of the Coupier Belt in the blockaded region? What? How can that be? What's wrong? The capture ratio is only 0.024%. That's way too low. It's not my fault. I can't believe it. The body is entrapping it. What should we do? We should get out there, right, Villain? Villain dot dot dots as he plots. There may be unforeseen dangers, but there's no choice. Right now, the Coupier Belt is partially imprisoned in a cage of mana. 
It is almost alive. It is vulnerable be- Oh, it's vulnerable because it's not a world, but a being. We must attack now. Ah, oh, yes. Attack the parallel universe, chat. That That's some classic Yu-Gi-Oh logic there. Like, how do we get through a door in a VR environment? Challenge it to a duel, of course. It's just that all over again. This is our one chance. If we miss it, there will never be another. Arms must enter the blockaded region and annihilate the Coupier Belt. Now measuring the trapeziohedron's touchdown point. It will be the land of death and destruction at the center of the old Slayheim salt flats. The land of death and destruction. That is quite a name of a location. Hurry to that point now. Uh, I think I'm going to take my time, right chat? <laughs> nice try. There's no urgency. Get out of here. Don't lie to me, RPG. Okay, I could walk to the thing and fly to where I want to go. Or I could just teleport there and save some time. Now the question is, did the characters that leveled up, did they get enough to get another up parameter? That is the only thing I think stopping us from going further. So you got another one. So you're going to be the first character to get all four, I think. Because I did not use critical or advanced guard or anything else. So Irene's going to probably be one of our strongest characters soon. Sadly, Vicky 2 needs more get further. So she's about two levels behind compared to other people. Everybody else is pretty close, except for poor Hello. But that's fine. We just need Hello mostly for healing at this point. If we need damage, I mean, we're... The protagonist should always out-damage, and our other melee character should out-damage. I guess it's more of a question if a parameter increases defense or not. Oops. I could just get my final upgrades if I really want to. I guess I have nothing better to do. Sure, why not? Let's blow all of our cash just to upgrade. We're presumably going to get one more weapon, but we're also going to fight like four more bonus bosses. So the odds of us getting 300,000 while using a lucky card are pretty high. So if we do happen to get another weapon here, I don't think it matters because I wouldn't leave the dungeon to go there anyway. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to make sure we save. <laughs> in case we end up in a place of no return or something weird. So we're going to go to the Trapeziohedron. And we need to get exactly one more level, I think. And then we could try the dragon boss again. Because we've, we've also gone up a lot in power since we fought the other boss. Like, four levels is not insignificant in terms of power in this game. That's usually, like, another 500 damage a shot. And we're not sure the exact effects of a parameter other than it would be big. Ideally, if we have to, we have to come back in another six levels to go beat the other boss just because we didn't get skills in the game's intended order, which kind of blows that they made a boss that requires that. So, we'll see where we get to when we get to this point. So sadly, it's mostly our spellcasters that don't have it, which is a shame, because I think we do know that boss weakness. So, we'll see if we're able to get through it or not. But if nothing else, we need to find out some way to survive 6,000 damage a turn that's not just oops all scape dolls for the other bosses. I'm imagining Seventh Moon will always kill the party. Except for maybe our tank character. There we go. That was close. So the trapezio hedron is here. Are you really calling me as I go to enter it? Your reaction pattern contains some strange noise. I don't know what that sentence meant. Apparently, you came into contact with the Trapeziohedron. The Trapeziohedron is linked to the live reflectors and serves as a prison. 
It must hold the powerful Coupier belt, so it is built to be incredibly strong. You only get one chance to get to the Coupier belt. Oh, is this... Is this actually the final dungeon of the game? They're talking it up like it is. Which has me a little worried, because I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna get, like, four or six more levels. Hmm. Coupier belt is a parallel universe. It's like a giant living entity. Hmm. By annihilating Coupier belt, you can escape the grip of the force field. Failure is not an option. Must prepare carefully for this mission. I guess we should just make sure to get everything on the way out. I mean, the worst thing that happens is I make another save. But I feel like we haven't had the big villain reveal yet for villain. I'm imagining there's stuff we could do here. Hmm. Well... I like how he said you only have one chance and the game automatically went in, by the way. I didn't press the button there. I think the game was trying to stop me before I hit the confirm button. But it, it kind of failed there. Okay. Oh no. Are we really in a teleport dungeon? Oh, this is heinous. Oh. There's so many paths. No. No. This is the kind of dungeon design I don't want to do. Game, please. There's so I many. Hate it. I hate it. There's so many teleports. Please give me a linear dungeon. I will take puzzles over this. Oh my gosh, chat. What is this? Yeah. This is horrible. Look how many teleports there are. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get so lost. This dungeon sucks. Okay, we need to position this in a way that I can remember where I'm going. I guess we'll start by going northwest, because it's the closest thing to going left. Okay, I'm gonna try to not move the camera at all. So we went this way. Let's see how awful the enemies are here. I surprised them. Okay. Land anemone. Okay. Try to skill drain. Maybe we'll get something useful. They're at least very weak, which is good. This is fine. If this is all they're gonna do, I'm okay with this. Got antidotes. We're slowly chipping away at the 60,000 experience we need to go try a bonus boss again. Oh boy, chat. This is gonna be... Oh, I can't even teleport on that one. Well, cool. I didn't go this way yet. This is this is such this is such hot garbage chat. Oh my gosh. Oh, is there any other path that I could go in the northwest before we move on? Why did they make this? I try this one. Does this make a difference as to where I go? It does. Okay. I'm gonna move on. Let's try the northeast. Okay. Can I try this one? Is this different? We didn't go in this teleport yet. I don't even know if I'm making any progress, to be honest with you. I don't know what my goal is. I guess I'm gonna try the southeast. Oh, darn, chat. What a shame I can never come back here. Why does it just feel like I'm going in circles? Does, why does, like, every warp go here? 
Is there a warp I haven't been to yet? I could try the one in the southwest corner. Okay. So we're we're in glorified pick a path mode, chat. Mmm. Mmm. I love that we keep surprising them. Let's melee our way through this. Hopefully we do enough damage. I mean, Hello did get his ultimate weapon, allegedly. Maybe this will save us time rather than watch a spell animation. Gremlin should do good damage. Hello might kill with the ult his ultimate weapon, question mark. Yeah, there we go. His ultimate weapon paid off. We did it, chat. So again, we're we're very slowly whittling away at their XP totals. Oh man. Where where do we even begin? I mean, okay, so southwest is progress, I think. So, okay, first exit. So southwest, first exit. One way warp. I don't want to avoid encounters here. I want to eventually see if these enemies have anything worth stealing. So again, I, I do need to chip at the experience, so I will take these encounters. Although I might remove talismans so I don't have to wait for the healing animation. Normally, I would want that, but I don't like waiting, like, here. <laughs> We're gonna try to optimize our fight a little bit. So let's remove Talisman and put something else safe on for now. Oh, boy. <laughs> right, chat? Oh, boy. Um... Sure. I, I could give him just magic up in general. Give him the holy tablet. This is so trolly. Like, this is the one that I took last time. If one sends me all the way back to the beginning chat, my sadness will know no bounds. I'm just letting you know. Fortunately, at least they kind of gave me a way to tell which way I've been before. With the healing crystals. But it won't tell me if I have to take it again which way I need to go. Euthanasia gas? I don't like how that sounds. How much damage is that gonna do? Oh. It just poisons people. That's pretty annoying. I guess that's why they gave me... Poison... Uh, antidote, or excuse me, they gave me antidotes earlier. So these fights seem really horrible if we don't go first. Uh, I would like to just kill these. Gravachon's at least pretty quick, spell animation wise. Uh, of course, they're resistant to Earth. Why wouldn't they be? Right, chat? Uh, of course. I don't think I have anything to cure status ailments other than on Vicky. I don't think I really want to be casting spells. They're immune to Earth. Can I at least damage? Can I use Valkyrie? If Valkyrie gets through, I'm I'm okay with this. Then we'll just start every battle with Valkyrie. Okay. Thank you, Valkyrie. So we're getting additional money in case we do need to upgrade another arms, which we should probably have at least one more of before the end of the game. This is horrible. I hate this. This is gonna put me back in the blue room. No, you put me back in the- what? Put me back in red. Okay. 
We went there. I went this way. So I'll go this way. Oh, come on. All right, chat, like, stop. There's so many paths and only one makes progress. Why? Oh, I actually picked correctly there. That was fortunate. At least I think I picked correctly. This is horrible. Oh, I got blue roomed. No, oh, come on. <laughs> really? You're gonna make me go all the way back? Come on. Why did they make this? Chat, this is the kind of stuff I complain about. I'm telling you, I don't miss this dungeon design at all in modern RPGs. I would like to thank all modern developers that decide that this kind of dungeon is not okay. Thank you for not having pick a paths or like RNG BS Osmodius. We'll defend and try to skill drain. We get any fun abilities from Osmodius. Miss. Wings of Death. I don't like how that sounds. You have got to be kidding me. Don't I have immunity to insta-death? Why did I die? <laughs> Excuse me? Hello? <laughs> this one is special. Did I not equip Holy... Oh, I didn't equip Holy Grail. Wow, I got punished hard. Damn, I forgot. I changed my mind earlier. Well, Holy Grail is going on permanently, I guess. That's garbage. Cool, it's a dungeon with insta-death, my favorite. I only have one item that resists that as a reminder. Oh my gosh, there's so many paths we have to go through. Okay, so it's not the top one, it's the middle one. <laughs> that's, the, that's just garbage. Oh jeez, I don't even know. Um... I'm gonna try to avoid encounters if I can. I mean, at some point I should try to kill Asmodeus, I guess. So we went to that one already. This is horrible. I, I think that was progress. Okay. If there's hidden items in this dungeon, I'm gonna be like, no thanks. <laughs> All right, chat, I'm gonna be like, yeah, about that. Ugh. Yeah, I don't even want to know. Like, I'm sure maybe one of them brought us somewhere useful. Do I want to check it out? Hell no. We got through it. I'm moving on. I would like to kill Osmodius, though, at some point. Are there encounters here at all? Just fishing for them. Feels like the answer is no. Hopefully we didn't lock ourselves out of an item there, because that would be very stupid if that save point locks us out. I'm assuming there's more BS. Oh, of course there is. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> you know, I, I complained about lack of puzzles. This this isn't what I was expecting for a replacement of puzzles. <laughs> do you know what I mean, chat? Like, there's just sometimes I just don't want to do, like, five riddles to complete a dungeon. Just want to enjoy the dungeon. Oh, and to no one's surprise, Chad, of course we can't use skate because we'll fly off the edge. Also, where are the where's the random encounters? Hello? Alright, hold on. Let me just force an encounter real quick. Oh, there are no encounters here. Alright, so went to the bottom most one. That was very lucky. We made progress. I'll just... I'll go left first. What the heck is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I feel like I'm in some kind of torture device, chat. I feel like... Like, what is going on with this dungeon design? 
Okay, we got a force encounter. So we don't want to have Osmodius do anything. Oh no, he went first. I think this might be... Oh, it's not Osmodius. Okay, we have a chance. Yeah, these dungeons are kind of awful. Yeah, I'm assuming there was supposed to be something that would have stopped us from getting status ailments. So I either just didn't learn it at the magic shop, or it's specific to the character who hasn't learned all of her abilities. I'm hoping this is progress. Oh no, that didn't feel like progress. Although... What is this? What is this? No! <laughs> no! Game, please! You, am I really gonna have to one in three my way to the end of the dungeon? Oh my gosh, this is horrible. This is the stuff I make fun of in like games like Terranigma. I don't know, I'm gonna go left first. I don't think I chose correctly. Oh man. Oops, and I fell off. Oh boy, we're gonna be here a while. I don't remember. I don't even remember where the right path was here. I'm gonna be honest with you, Chad. I 100% don't remember where the right path was in this room. We came from here, I think. Did I go to this one. <laughs> this is terrible. What is this? Wow, okay, so there were no other paths. Maybe I didn't go... Maybe I was just in this room when I dropped down in the other one. I'll take the you surprised them. So at least I have a chance of winning. Alright, we need to kill this guy ASAP. So we're gonna use Valkyrie and punch and punch. So we'll check to see if Osmodius has anything interesting to steal. Hopefully we kill him here without too much of an issue. Okay, so Osmodius should be early in the BC area. Let's just take a look to see if he has anything. And then if not, we're skipping all encounters. You could steal full revives from him. That's actually pretty good. The problem is he kills you. Like we could steal duplicators from the other thing. Man, chat, this is this is the choice. Oh, oh, and I picked those up by accident. No, punish for running. I mean, I guess I have to go that way. I guess I'll go that way. I, there, I wanted to go to the uppermost path, and then I remembered. I guess I'll see where this goes. I feel like I just made negative progress. I don't even remember the purple room anymore. Every damn room looks the same aside from the color. It's not like I have, like, a, oh, I'm in the lion room. And I went left at a statue. Assuming this is the right way, at least. Okay. So there's two there, so I think I made a left first. And we jumped off. Although I noticed these came back, or did I just miss them when I fell off the other time? Interesting. We want to cross the passageway here, because there's nothing else we should have done. And we went to the BS 1 and 3. I guess I'll go down this time. Is this the correct path? Of course. Oh. 
Oops. Okay. This is the tip of the Coupier belt held in the Mana Prison. The pseudo life form, the encroaching parallel universe, the Coupier belt. Am I imagining this? It's not expanding, is it? It's almost as if something is hatching from an egg. Whoa, it's hatching. It's the larva of the encroaching parallel universe. I'm just gonna nod my head, chat. We're we're just gonna pretend that made sense. We're just gonna nod our head. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. Sure. We're fighting the cocoon of a universe. What does the parallel universe cocoon look like? Encroaching parallel universe larva. I guess that makes sense. Nice music at least. I'm just going to assume you don't have an ability for me. Bring in Bashley. Build some meter. Let's check for weakness. I'm gonna try light first. Oh, I saw that actually. Let's use Valkyrie just to do both. Things hatch from anything other than eggs or just not having English. I mean... I mean, typically when I think hatch, I do think eggs, to be fair. Let's not just build meter on him. Uh, I'm gonna attack his mouth. That'll show him. We're just gonna build our meter up a little bit. 2,000... 500. Bonk the monster real quick. We horribly outspeed him due to our levels. Arc Unseal. So you disease confused me. That was kind of rude. Do I just have a cure all? I do. War Respite. So he builds up another meter, so I want to see how that impacts our damage. So sadly, I think because he had forgetfulness, he didn't build any FP there. Alright, this is now going to be very annoying. Yep, he just constantly gets poisoned. I might as well just sub him out at this point. He can't really do anything. We've destroyed his mouth, though. Thesari, Thesaurus, you're kind of useless because you keep getting hard locked by the enemy. So I just want to see. So we're doing about 2,000 currently with Hello. How much does he do to the main body now? I'm going to melee with everybody to build meter. That's about 1,200. How much do you do now? Is it noticeable increase? Did a little less. But we'll be able to check again before I attack again. Low doesn't need a ton of meter, but if I want to transfer meter going forward, I could use it. Mega Crusher on him. Did no damage. I'm not even going to bother healing. Um, I can use Cosmic right now, though. Just want to see how much damage he does. We haven't had a single damage comparison so far, because we keep killing the boss too quickly. So if this does more than 1400 by a lot, we'll know how much the other skill is important. Not really. Not a big damage difference increase so far. Anyway, let oh, oh, he's dead already. Oh, well, that was sad. So doubling that for only thirty six thousand, I don't think would have been worth it. I don't <laughs> dead care about that. Already? If if that was like forty thousand, I would have cared. Now that that's too low. Did we win? Our tech seems to have had an effect on the pseudo life form. The encroaching parallel universe. The Coupier belt was the section that broke off the main body, right? What we destroyed was only a small section of it. What we really need to destroy is still out there. Belaine, 
mission was a failure, just like you warned us. The Coupier Belt released part of itself just before the core was sealed. You mean what we just fought was? The Tale of the Lizard, yes. Anyway, just come back to the Valeria Chateau. The Trapezio Hedron will self-destruct any minute. Oh, don't you dare make me walk back out of there. <laughs> right, chat? You better teleport me out of there. I'll not figure that puzzle out in reverse. Well, that's a dungeon I look forward to never going back to and whatever if I don't 100% that. We have eliminated part of it, but the Coupier Belt is still strong. The sky of Ilgaia is still dark, and the hearts of people are just as shadowed. Uh-oh, one could say they have shadowed hearts. Our plan against the Coupier Belt. Did the tra trapeziohedron avail us not at all? Have we failed then? Avail us? That felt really unnatural given how the character normally talks. Avail us. I, usually you say like things are to no avail, but to use it in that sense feels very odd. Not that I think it's incorrect to use it that way, it's just nobody talks like that. I think Arms has lost this time, but even if we were defeated in this battle, we still have the war. Even in this darkness, we were able to see one critical thing. Oh dear, indeed, from Blue Donna. Yes, we have found the way to trap the Coupier Belt. Treating a world like a spirit and trapping it in a live vessel can be effective. In that case, why don't we try sealing it in the trapeziohedron one more time? We could still trap a critical mass of the Coupier Belt in the trapeziohedron. We could do better against it this time. Unfortunately, we up all the mana built up at the ray, ray points. Since the pillar air appeared, the faint light of the world we've seen has been disappearing. A large amount of mana must have been consumed from Filgaia. It would be hundreds of years before so much mana accumulated at the ray point again. And by that time... The world will have already been eaten away. Have we no more ideas to use? There must be something. There just has to be something. If we don't try something, everything living in Filgaia will be... The lane dot dot dots as we just have Gremlin never speak up in these cutscenes. Sometimes it's better to go slowly than quickly. One more error will be fatal. But... At the moment, I'm more worried about your health. You all must be very weary now. I cannot ignore that. Today, I would like you to rest. Everything is okay, right? We can still save Gaia, can't we? There is always another way. You just have to find it. There is always a last resort to be taken. How ominous. I am the commander. You all must rest up for our next action. I'm assuming he thought that versus say it. Dot, 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 dot. It is possible to destroy a world by sealing it in a living vessel. I'm certain that is the only way to defeat the Coupier Belt. But, the Ray Point's mana is so depleted using any more might drain the very sun of life. Using the mana prison, the Trapeziohedron would kill our life-giving planet. That hand is played out. In which case, how can we lure the Coupier Belt into a body without the Trapeziohedron? That's it. We must prepare a vessel other than the Trapeziohedron. More dot 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 dots. We must use Bashley Winchester. He will be our drastic measures. There we go. An ancestor of Anastasia was has oh excuse me was the trap Lord Blazer, the blaze of disaster. Such a giant being was controlled by housing it in a person. Therefore, the Coupier belt should be able to be housed in a human vessel too. But a human vessel already contains one spirit. Two beings sharing one vessel, like Bashley, is a tantamount to a miracle. 
I think he's just monologuing to a wall, essentially. Miracle. We need a miracle. The Valeria blood that runs in my veins is that of the hero who drove back the Lord Blazer. I will not wait for a miracle. Miracles are worth most when you bring them about yourself. Oh, is he going to become the demon god, I guess? There's a compsis again, chat. Elder brother, did you call? It's so late at night. That is so, Acompsis. We need a capacity to match that of the trapeziohedron. Hmm. We need a vessel large enough to trap the encroaching parallel universe. Dot 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 dot. The demon summoning. Demon summoning? Is that part of the black magic which you used to research? Isn't that black magic forbidden for humans to use? More dot dot dots. Hmm. Elder brother, you don't mean... I need something wide and deep enough to hold a world. The only choice is... A human vessel. Dot 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 dot. Please understand, Acomsis. We must entrust everything to the Valeria blood, for we are descendants of the hero. Little sister, I need you not as the sword mages, but as the Madonna of Destruction. I'm sorry, the Madonna of Destruction? Oh boy. Elder brother! I need you. You and the family blood flowing through you. Will I be able to fight with you, elder brother? May I be by your side always? From now on, always together. I want you to bear my sins with me, Acomsis. Uh, I've never felt closer to my brother than tonight. Ooh, that's a phrasing thing. That is... I don't I don't like that it faded to black when she said that, chat. I'm gonna go with... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go... Uh, I'm assuming that that does not... I'm hoping that's not what they were implying there. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're rested up for your next mission. I think I found a solution. Monsters are appearing in the land east of Helmets across the inlet. I want arms to go there immediately and investigate the cause. Wait a second. Why do that now? What will we do about the Coupier Bell? Arms must respond to everything, large or small. That's true, but... I'm depending on you. Everyone get moving. Okay, now we've had his villain reveal. Be careful, everyone. Soon I will solve everything. Soon we will save the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we still need like 30,000 across the board experience. So even duping the boss XP, we would not have leveled. So we need to figure out another way to get more XP more easily. As I said before, I think we're really close to having what we need to do the other bosses. Because I mean, I'm pretty sure you saw that other boss did like legit nothing to us after our upgrades. So I think Param up does impact our defense. I'm assuming a story boss is not meant to only do 500 to us with a single target attack. Especially on Hello of all characters. Larry Chateau's being repaired. Oh. I, I, I forgot that was a thing? Question mark? Can I just leave then?
So yeah, so sadly it seems like the game wanted me to uh, take these up parameter stat bonuses to fight the bonus bosses. Because otherwise, right now, we literally just can't survive them, and we don't do enough damage, and we took HP up as soon as possible. So, like, level 50 is still not enough to survive these attacks. I think if Bashley was in his low 60s, I think he could survive some of the boss attacks, and Irene might be able to survive an attack going forward. But again, keep in mind, Hello taking 6,000 might just be due to him not having any up parameters yet. So he still has a lot of potential to grow. Also, I did not pay attention to where they said this was located. Helmets. Okay. Uh, how's my luck, by the way? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it would explain how he was getting just absolutely bodied by status ailments. That checks out. I'm gonna do this to summon my flying thing next to me. I don't know where it was relative to me, but it's here now. So we'll go back to helmets for now. We still need to get more experience. Somehow. There's a new dungeon here. Fiery Wreckage? Oh, okay. So... Just making sure there's nothing I have to do. So there is something I could whip to. Or wire hook, I mean. Does this do anything for me, though? I think so. Unless this opens up. Just gonna, just gonna nod my head on that one, chat, of course. Stupid Miss Cloak, I hate you so much. Why is your range so bad? Game, please. Please buff. I'm so tired of missing those teleports. Like, I don't even think I did the wrong thing. It's just one of those things where it just clearly doesn't go far enough. Okay, so what happens if I go this way instead? What's different between these two routes? So I could go down here first if I want to. Oh, cool. Waste of time. Glad I checked. Oh, game. I guess I could try the whip hook thing again. Alright, could, could you please? Could you please make this gap that I know you should be able to make? Thank you. Got a sword. Remember seeing the sword before. Lamity silently floats. The mad mountains scream out a lament. The ideal is death. Deep seated delusion doesn't die. What are we talking about? Even if the flesh rots, this man's remaining thoughts become a fiery wreckage that stands in one's way. What? What? Are are we fighting the spirit of the Previous leader? Remaining poltergeist ghost? Oh, oh, okay. I'm just gonna nod, I guess. I mean, we should just be able to beat him senseless. I don't think he could do anything to us.
We twirly bird. Oh, that heals him. Curve my wrath. Okay, we'll try light attack. How much damage is he actually gonna do to this party? Oh, oh, pfft, oh okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Wild arms, please. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> Thanks, game. <laughs> Thanks. I I, pre I appreciate just arbitrarily dying, checking out a sword. Thanks. Holy. Thankfully, I saved at some point, but I didn't save earlier. Wrath was strong. Calvisham, this is the kind of stuff that is like... <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that really annoys me in Wild Arms, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very much like the first game. The second game is not doing it for me. I think between like these really awkward camera angles where like puzzle solutions are just off screen. Annoying positioning with the mist cloak. The near constant amount of riddles and puzzles every, like, every two rooms. Just, uh, and then whatever you want to call that, like, okay, cool, I guess. Like, you got me. I didn't save that recently, so I wasted like three minutes going back to where I was earlier. Well, I guess I'll make a note of where the optional boss is. Fiery Wreckage. East of... Helmets. Go to zip line door. ES 6.5k damage. Cool. Ghost. Yeah, I was gonna say just. I don't know, like, I, th that's the stuff I just don't miss in RPGs. Like, this is exactly what I think of when I say I don't want to do turn-based RPGs. This is exactly what I'm thinking of. Just want you to know, chat. Like, Terranigma, how not to do an action RPG. This game, it just, there's so many annoying amount of tools that I have to remember what their uses are at any given time. It's just like... I prefer it if they have less characters in the future. I don't mind, like, playable characters, but at least characters with tools. I really don't want this many. Or at least I want all of them to be non-puzzle related. Oh, there's so many different abilities. So I guess I'll go this way. Game, please. I guess I'll come out this way and pick up the chest I saw the first time. Obelisk gun. I didn't think we were using guns, but I guess now we are. Sure. Almost thought that was gonna be an arm at first, by the way it sounded, versus like... Because we've been using sabers up until this point, for the most part. That's why I found that kind of weird. Whatever. Alright, so all that just to go back this way. So technically we have more damage if I want to do a bonus boss. The problem right now are there's two bosses I cannot survive. And there is... Another boss we can't kill because we don't do enough damage. There's a console pattern. Actually, there's more than guns. I never got that far in the game. I just remember having a big rifle with blade on it. Yeah, he's got... He, we have quite a few guns in our arsenal. But this is the first time our main weapon has been a gun. We're gonna, we're gonna turn on the console. Corrupted data is displayed on the monitor, and the broken and scrambled data is detailed information on the Heimdall Gazo. Oh. I guess that makes sense that this is what this is. Though why it didn't show up until now is another story. Turn it on. The broken and scrambled data is detailed information on the demon summoning. There's information about Randolph the magic key and the conjuring from that man. Any other data? He's telling me it exists, but that doesn't really help. Let's go to the big monitor. 
Is the power supply not connected? To start this console panel, all the slave units linked to it must be turned off. Certainly a name for it. <laughs> Needs more slave units. The broken and scrambled data is detailed for information on demon summoning. The demon summoning experiment used the newly formed special unit as guinea pigs. Information was leaked to Odessa regarding the date and time of the ceremony for the unit. So we gotta open up more computers. I guess this is supposed to be the big reveal that Vil Ain is the villain. Chat never would have called that one. <laughs> and the broken and scrambled data is detailed information concerning Odessa's war power. Okay. Oh, there's actually encounters in here. <laughs> yeah, what a twist. I can't believe Villain is evil and accomplices his assistant in crimes. Uh, oh, we didn't surprise them? That is a creature. Okay, I'm gonna defend both turns. We're gonna see if we can finally teach her a useful ability. Gel gob. Sorry, Goblin, you might be the first to go. Gob, gob, gob. Did zero. Uh, let's raise her luck in case this is luck based. I hope it's not. We might use her for stealing later. I guess it wouldn't hurt to just leave her like that for now. Defense doesn't seem to matter as much. Alright, so no abilities from either. Anti-ground laser. Oh, this is the thing that one-shot me earlier. But it does no damage in this version. <laughs> the world's slowest turn. You got me. I guess I'll go for the one-shot kill spell, since I got nothing better to do. Oh, that's right. Irene's speed is like 360 plus, so there's no way that it was gonna work. Buried alive. Yeah, the enemies are just literally not hurting us anymore. GG to them, I guess. Oof. Only 1,400 experience? Oof. As a reminder, chat, we need like 40,000. Like, we are hilariously not close. Does that, is count turn it Does that count as turning on all the slave units? No? Okay, well, I guess we'll find out. Hmm. we're done here. The only thing we could do over there is the Death Sword. Is there anything else that I could do? There's like a platform up there. Nothing we can... can we Actually, can we miss over there? Is that a thing I could do? Yeah, like, we have these wings, like, presumably at some point I will be going up a wing and doing something fun with it. There's a little path over here that I was trying to do before. Does this lead anywhere? No. We have the zip hook line. We're back out here. I don't think there's anything else for me to- unless there's something beyond the sword, and I just don't touch the sword. Was there? 
don't see anything else to do. Hmm. I'm going to see if there's something other than touching the Death Sword. Uh, so I don't see anything else to do here. Hmm. Question mark. I definitely hit forward and square at the same time. I got trolled. There's nothing to do from here. I don't see another doorway. I know the camera will sometimes obscure things, but this time I don't genuinely see anything to do. So what is there to do differently here? I'm not following. Was there another door in here I missed by accident? We can't go up this way. We went into this door. This is presumably, yeah, that's the sword room, which we can't do anything in. Was there something I could have done in this room that I missed earlier? No. Ignore the combat real quick. We open that computer up. So... Is there, like, another door down here I don't see? Like, because that just leads back to the outside. What? I have to be missing something straightforward, chat. Where Where is the door that I need to go to? I've turned on all the consoles, but it won't let me turn it on. There's nothing to do over here. I don't see a way to get up here, which would help. I could save my progress if I want to. Like, we could go up here, but there's nothing to... Oh! I didn't see that due to the camera angle. You got me, camera angle. You win again. What a silly camera angle thing. Up to date is displayed on the monitor, and the broken and scrambled data is detailed information on Odessa's funding sources, information on the ability financially supporting Odessa is present in the fragments. Okay. Red jacket acquired. Might be relevant for Bashley's survival on the bosses. I mean, if we have two characters that can survive a boss turn, that might be important. We have a large gap, and presumably nothing else to do here. So maybe now that I- maybe now I could go back to the main console? Yeah, just so Chad is aware, this was like the default angle when we came here before. As a reminder, so it's like, it depends on how we were approaching this, whether we saw it easily or not. And then I think I rotated it like this, so when we were going this way, I didn't see it the first time. I might have been able to see it when I was doing, like, this. Like, it's definitely easy to see when the camera is looking at it, but... I don't think that was the case at the time. Alright, so let's go back this way, and now we should be able to... ...main screen turn on. This looks like the wreckage from the Heimdall Gazo. Said you can access Odessa's main data bank from here. What do you want to do, Bashley? Odessa's data bank? Ensfeld must have meant the Kupier belt when he spoke of an encroaching menace. Might be able to get some information. It'd be a waste of time, but it's worth a try. He spoke as if he knew something. He knew something we didn't. It's not unlikely. Hmm. Anyway, let's look. If nothing comes up, no big deal. Let's split up and research this. Hmm. Even if we research data on Odessa now, it doesn't look like anything good will result. Hey. What kind of joke is this?
Let me see. Does this membership power activity strategies? No, the section after that. Funding sources. The organization lack operational funds, so these are the financial backers. Impossible. Why would that name be listed here? This must be wrong. It has to be. The Lane Vold Valeria. <laughs> Man, that is a tongue twister. The Lane Vold Valeria. Why is his name here? Dun dun dun. Oh my holy. Oh geez, we're done for. Calm yourself down. Just what is going on? We just found out something horrible over here. This is A. As usual, it's pandemonium here. Elaine and Acomstis are gone. They're not in the chateau. They left a note so we know where they went. Understood. We'll hurry right back now. While you're all getting this, I will be preparing the final plan against the Coupier belt. Hmm... To beat the Coupier belt, we, which exists only as a concept now, we must cause it to materialize. The Dirtpeziohedron is useless now. I must take actions I know will be regrettable. These will be my drastic measures. Whatever people may say, I will sacrifice all for Phil Gaia. It's true my actions in this cause have not been all, have not been beyond reproach. I do not ask for forgiveness. I will pay whatever price is required. I will now give you your final mission. You will travel to the heart of Phil Gaia. Heart of Phil Gaia is the center of the world and the root of this planet's life. If you still believe in me, please grant me this wish. Then, pray for the future of Phil Gaia. Villain Vold Valeria. What will we do from now on? There's no one to command us, but. We already know. We already know what we're fighting for. We have a purpose that can guide us. No one else will lead us. It's time to lead ourselves. That talk is all fine, but I just want to protect what's mine. I'm not letting anyone ruin the world I live in, not without a fight. This last battle looks like it will be our last. Yes. Right, Chad? I think by definition. I th yes. Everyone needs to decide for themselves. We will disperse for now. We'll meet here again at this time tomorrow. Those with the will to fight can come. Okay, so presumably this is prep for the final dungeon, but there's still a lot we haven't done, presumably. Come on, listen. All you have to do is listen. I might be the only one without superior officers, but in return, I've been blessed with the best allies. Must be hard for you. You're stuck listening to me babble. When he's with you, Fido seems so happy. <laughs> I forgot my name, but Fido. Do you think so? Yes, I can always tell because we're always together. I owe a lot to you. One who was saved from the brink of death because of you and the villagers. This final last battle that will happen finally will be our last final battle. Finally. I can always tell because I can tell because we're always together. Fido is always with Mister. I can tell. You don't have to say a word. There you go. I think Mister is the dog as a reminder. Got something valuable I've been keeping for this one. Survive all battles because of it. It doesn't matter where I am. I'm always with this one. We're always together. There's something I wanted to ask you. That day, Mister was arrested. I told it was because he was a hero. Is he a he? Is a hero something bad? Hmm, I wonder. One thing I do know, I'm not a hero. I wasn't able to become a hero. It caused all kinds of trouble. That's my own fault. 
Dog makes the sound. Brad is shaking with fear. Oh no. Not Brad. How long are these conditions going to last? Brad the dog is a reminder. It'll be all... It'll be over soon. I'll make sure it'll be over. The only thing I can do now to thank this guy. Yeah, we never got the flare gun. Or, or presumably, I think that's what it was hinting towards. Oh, there's star pupil. Right, Jack? Because it talked about, like, we needed to, like, shoot a flare to hit the thing on the ceiling. And the pirate warden. How have we still not... How do we not have all the tools so far? I'm pretty sure it'll be a flare gun or something weird. I don't know what its other purpose is, other than, like, setting something on fire on the ceiling. Because I was thinking about that from before. At least that's what I wrote in my notes, that I need, uh... A, presumably a flare is what I wrote. So I'm assuming we'll get a flare gun, but we'll see, I guess. Star Pupil says, You flew out of here, and you just came back without any warning. What? Star Pupil? We're always, always are so indecisive. Hmm. We'll have to look for that item, I guess, before we beat the game. And come back here to see you. No big deal. Well, that's true, but... Um, uh... What? I decided to take the Cattell test. Wow, really? That really difficult elite class? Well, sort of. Not a rotten personality, but you sure know how to study. <laughs> how about taking the test together? Tell, th this is the classroom Sis sat in. That's it, I've got it. It's a way to get close to Sis, your dream girl. You need to take the test. Your dream girl? I don't, I don't think that, um... I'm gonna go with phrasing on that one. Um... You insist, I'll look at your late homework. I'm so in awe of you, Sis. But I am Vicky 2 Elniak. I'm not your Sis. There's something I want to do, and in order to do that, maybe I'll try taking the test too. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's. I'm sure that'd be best. Well now. You going already? It's too early. Why don't we go check the test area together now? What is it? I've always wondered why you always seem to pick fights with me. Well, it's not that you like me or anything, is it? Well, well, who would like Vicky too? That's true too. But remember, someday I might be a mighty fine woman. Be sure to give you the honor of being dumped by me then. You, you're making fun of me. Vicky too. Hey, I'm stuck with the cleaning you're supposed to be doing. Thanks. When it's all over and we come back here, I'll help you with your cleaning. Where? The Astronomical Observatory. That's a rough one. Better take back what I just said. You're the one who volunteered. I'm holding you to it. I'm gonna get you to help me clean the Astronomical Observatory. Isn't that kind of redundant? Boy, I haven't seen the sky in a long time. Yeah. It's different from having something fun disappear. I never imagined that having something so familiar disappear would make me feel so lonely. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she sounds so disinterested. <laughs> I've made up my mind. I'm going to bring the sky back to Phil Gaia. I'm going to show you the sun once again. We're going to make this camera rotate the whole time. It's kind of nauseating. I promise you. Thankfully, that stopped. And let's shake on it. Give me your left hand. Let's meet here again. Plus, when someone you wanted nearby leaves, it makes you lonely. Even if the sky disappears, I still have sunshine. This here is a special secret sunball. What? I <laughs> would dot dot what? Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 question mark is what it should be there. I agree, Blue Dada. I need a haul on that one. Give me your left hand and promise me again. I mean, don't, don't you just hand people sunballs, chat? Uh, um, I don't know. What, was she being literal? I, I just feel really confused by that whole sentence. Blood can be inherited. But can heroism be inherited as well? 
Blood is a red bond that ties you to your past. Invisible bonds become changed which bind one over and over again. It's a person's karma, fate, and the yet-to-be-known future. Gasping at the suffering, the wailing seeks the dark yet rests... Is full... That is a sentence. Gasping at the suffering, the wailing seeks the dark yet rest is full of traps. The, like, the... the... Like, do, do you mean rest is a noun, or do you mean, like, the rest? Like, they seek the dark, yet the rest is full of traps. When isn't blood inherited? That's a great question. I, I don't know what she's talking about. I mean, I know she's... I know from a high level what she's talking about. I don't know what the words she's saying mean. It might be a more accurate statement. She's talking about, like, what makes her a hero because she had her body replaced by the different pieces, but this is, like, the most oddly worded thing she said so far. But if today is here for tomorrow, facilit vacillating in the blood is karma's reward of the hero? Like, who talks like this? Chat, no one talks like this. This is, like... The, yes, I acknowledge these are words. No, <laughs> no, this is not how people should say these things. Vacillating in the blood is karma's reward of the hero. <laughs> I'm very curious what this original sentence was. I'm really curious. Where villain boldly becomes a needle which dives under, heading for the heart. <laughs> this one is special. <laughs> She's having an eighth grader moment. Definitely exclamation mark special. <laughs> I like to think the store owner goes, Hey, get down from there! Stop talking crazy up there! Originally, Phil Gaia was... Yep. Destined to be the ruler at the top of the ecosystem, yet they came charging in one by one without permission, then later gave no reason. That's criminal. Yep. <laughs> I feel like Coastarf has the same investment as Kluts did earlier. <laughs> That's not helping. Now is the time for a true ruler. The Crimson Noble. Hey, what's the top of the ecosystem? You don't know? That's the problem with the uneducated. It means he's all alone, right? Exactly. The true rulers, Crimson Nobles, know solitude intimately. That must be very lonely. What are you talking about? People like to have friends around. Gremlin dot 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 says she's hit with the hard truth from a young kid. I'm used to things like that. Think about it. I'm the only Crimson Noble left. No one's left who could share those hours with me. Then I could be your friend. Well... The Crimson Noble bites and sucks my blood. Can I share those hours with you? If that's the case, then go for it. I'll be your, uh, first friend. Oof, awkward. I would dot 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 that too, Gremlin. You're a hopeless idiot. Think about it. Your resignation from humanity means you could lose a lot. Even so, if I did this, I'd be able to be with you forever, right? Uh, um... When was it established that these characters knew each other? Oh, stop it, stop it. I have no interest in children like you. Hit those pudgy middle years. I might just consider it. Really? Really and truly? All right, tomorrow we'll become middle-aged. You aren't dull, that's for sure. Maybe if I were with, with you, I might not be so lonely after all. Is this a hint for something that happens at Wild Arms 3? Question mark. Is this the vampire clan equivalency of Shadow Hearts? Did something happen? Sorry, I guess I should say something. It's all right, you don't have to force yourself to say anything, but... What? If Ashley doesn't talk, I have a feeling I'll end up babbling. Go ahead. Yeah, but I... I don't think I'll be able to express my feelings very well. If I put it into words, I might end up hurting Bashley again. Cliche. my heart, I want to say something different. When I put it into words, I always say something very different. I hate how feelings turn into different words when they leave the body. I think that's just a you thing. I always wish there were more direct ways to express my feelings. But if I do this, see? 
You can sense my feelings, right? Um, okay, we panned up to the sky. Is she kissing him or something? The warmth, the weight, and the feelings. The weight? Phrasing? So glad I have a body to convey it all. I'm gonna... I'm gonna nod my head. I guess that was intimate? Question mark? Meanwhile, and please anywhere other than that bedroom scene. O okay. Is there a reason you showed me that, or...? No? We just panned to the mountains for some reason? O okay. Weren't you the one who wanted to fight together? So why are you keeping quiet and fighting alone, villain? Uh, okay. And I wanted to get here first, too. Not this time, I guess. Vicky, too. Everyone is thinking the same thing. We all want to hear from villain before we decide. You weren't thinking of going alone, alone, were you? Hmm, they're all crazy. Everyone? Kate says, this isn't all of us. Everyone, everyone, he came back! Do you know what it's like outside? The encroachment has gone much further since yesterday. It's much more dangerous now. So now there is danger wherever we go. Let's go, Bashley. You've lost, Bashley. You've lost? What? <laughs> Everyone. Let's go then. We'll finish everything once and for all. Aha, you lost too. Checkmate. Right? <laughs> like, what? Anyway, let's leave. I guess I'll save, just in case I get killed by some random optional boss that just instantly deletes me for daring to investigate something arbitrarily. Would like to not have to sit through that cutscene again. So we could beat the game right now. So despite me getting lost, we probably would have had a 40 hour clear of the game with me voicing every single line. So it's not like a super long RPG. It just felt like it <laughs> when we we're going through those puzzle dungeons. <laughs> Let's escape this area. So we, we're still missing a tool, which presumably is not at the final area. Hopefully. Is there anything in my inventory that I've been forgetting about? Like, we have a ton of items. Oh yeah, we never did anything with these stone statues. What were the purpose of these three things? I like that one of them's just Drago instead of Dragon. Gotta get the stone Drago chat. So, presumably something will happen now with those items? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Who new music in the overworld? I don't know where it keeps putting our teleporter, but it's very rude. I'm gonna do this to force the thing to be near us. Hmm. So we could go to the center of the world and beat the game. I don't want to do that tonight. Is it worth revisiting the other villages at this point to see if they have anything new to say? Hmm. Like, do I partially go into the final area and potentially get what we need? Uh, where do I want to go? Guess I could just go back to some of the towns manually. 
don't think there's anything in Damson City that I wanted. Do I want to go back to Baskar? We can try going back to Baskar. See if we get any new dialogue with the Chief or Klutz. Yeah, yeah. Hello, person that wanted to kill us. Alright, so he's just acknowledging the end is coming. Nothing too exciting there. But so far, not getting a reward for backtracking. Oh, I forgot you were the, the shopkeeper. Um... You don't have any War Respite, which is the only curing item we should take at this point. Let's try to find Klutz's house. One of these. This indeed is now reaching for the planet's core. In the center of the world lies the Guardian of Mud, which is the genesis of all life on Filgaia. If this Guardian of Mud, Glaive Le Gable, is devoured, then all life will truly end. Okay, so we got the name of a... Uh, Thing we're gonna encounter at some point. Cool. That was semi relevant lore, I guess, to what we're going to be doing soon. Yes, I could see. See. Oh, yes, yes. I could see now I could protect just combine our strength then. We don't need any pillars, so no one will be sad if y'all join it. That's it. I wanna help protect Phil Gaia too. My only weapon is my desire to protect Phil. She just kind of rambled. My only desire is to protect Phil Gaia, but I will use it. Is that all it did? Says, yes, yes, I can see now to protect my Phil Guy too. I can fight if I try. With all the people in Baskar just combine our strength and we don't need any pillars, so no one will be sad if. Yeah. Okay, so I came here, nothing really happened. Oh. Let's reread the book called Wedge. Unlike his fellow guardians, Glaive Le Gable does not possess the power of cognition. Unaware of anything, Glaive Le Gable fills Fogaya with life without plan or purpose. Legendary ancient race of elves, which were in Wild Arms 1, erected a shrine, shrine to Glaive Le Gable to celebrate his existence, but the shrine called Wedge pierces Glaive Le Gable also controls his creation of life. Okay. We got lore. That didn't really help us with anything. Other than, I guess we learned more about it. So, we basically are at the end of the game, but at the same time, still don't have what we need. Hmm. Oh, actually, you know what? I just forgot. I think this game cares about who I talk to the people as. I just want to make sure we don't get anything if we do it this way. What's happening? Why am I so excited and nervous and even more excited about Familiar 2? I feel the same way and the medium began to shine. I think, yes, that's it. It's that, it's it, but it's this. Wow, that was a word salad. The stone goddess begins to give off a soft white light. What is it? Is it the medium? No. I don't know either. It doesn't feel bad, though. Okay, so we are now getting a new power up. I almost left without talking with the right person. That would have been awkward. I wonder why. I really feel happy just like this. Me too. Is this really? This is so embarrassing, but but is it really? Could it be? When I think about hello, my chest constricts. It's quite painful. Me too. When I think of Klutz. Could it be? Could it really be? It can't be, but it makes me so happy. Hello dot dot dots. But it scares me a little. Beginning to feel like hello is all I can think about. It worries me to be like that. Hello, dot dot dots. There's another me who's happy that I am like this. Oh no, how many selves are there? <laughs> oh no, it, it, Klutz has another self and hello has another self. Then there's like five million and <laughs> the protagonist. It's as if there are two of me. Same for me. When I'm with Klutz, I feel calm and relieved. While at the same time, I'm wildly excited. I think the present, the time I now spend with Klutz, is important time for me. Yeah, I know, another and other self. Yes, me too. I like the present time I spend with Hello too. Klutz, I want to protect you from all hardship and pain. Because you are the most important woman... Why does it say parentheses person? What? What? Why is that in parentheses? 
Okay. Translators, I don't think that was really needed there. The most important woman to me. I don't know. Thank you, though. <laughs> my desire to protect you is gradually making me stronger. I learned that thinking of someone other than myself is very powerful. I mean, I've become this strong all because of Klutz. No, you got that strong from farming that one boss. Don't you lie to her, hello. To be honest, I don't want to fight, but in order to protect what I have now, I will fight. You're a woman who's a person who's also your other self, exactly. Hello? Wonder if this is what it means to be like someone. I feel so warm. I fight to protect you. My heart must be stronger. Stone Goddess says, The desire leads to strength and reaches me as affection. The long extinct desire has been reawakened by the one who hasn't forgotten love. If that's... If what you desire is each other's hearts... You best stop me? What? What do you mean I best stop you? What do you mean? Japanese is neutral, so maybe forgot who it was. Team Mirror says, P person included to clarify there are no men more important. Why not just say only person? I know exactly. This translation is so weird. When hardship confronts you two, my power will become a ceaseless tie that will have you rid it all. What? I'm Raftina, the guardian lord who guards people's hearts in Philgaia. Love's embrace will become a gentle enveloping strength. I know, Blue Donna. We acquired Raftina, I guess. So presumably now... Okay, so that did do something. So those other two stone statues are likely related to the other protagonists. I'm assuming Klutz is not one of them. Speaking of which, are we still unlocking spells with this character? I don't even remember. Oh, we kind of are. I think I was unlocking death last, right? Oh no, I was doing space-time. Love, invincible. Okay, and what does that presumably unlock? Full heal. Drops both resist and parry values. Or response speed, I mean. That's actually not bad. I think I'm just gonna keep unlocking spells in order for now, though. Let's give him, uh, death back. So we can work on that. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> I mean, it's just like Terranigma. Listen, you just, you take a deep breath and the plot is going to plot all over you. Also, I love that Gremlin doesn't have anything equipped because I just didn't care. Um, I suppose I should probably give her a strength up or something. I don't know if I won her with Raftina yet. I mean, Bashley does seem to do sorcery damage. Maybe this is worth taking? I think his uh, special moves when he's in the other form count as sorcery. Because they, they do seem to do elemental damage, and we haven't really seen physical attacks do anything other than physical damage. So maybe that'll improve him when he goes into the other form. So let's try to figure out where these other things are. Would something be in Valeria Chateau? I guess I should check there. I'm going to see if a comp sis or the other person left an item behind. Not related to the stone statues, I was just thinking in general. I should probably check that before I go too much further. So we'll try to go to their rooms, and then maybe I'll talk to the people in the main command room. In case they want to give me anything special. And then we'll never come back here again. Let's see if they left anything in the rooms for us. And it says, we have a really incredible injection. It's out of this world. Do you want to try it? Sure to use it on us, though. Look what I found. This shot works for dogs, so it should work for people, too. <laughs> there we go, chat. We got, got a dog shot. Sure, that's good for us. 
Okay, anything in here? Talk to these characters, I guess. Aiken says, in my humble opinion, the Valerius acts are sure to go down in history. Ostarf says, the big kahuna was the terrorist ringleader, they say. Why would he do that anyway? Guys, these characters don't have anything to give to us. That was the nurse's room. Nothing in here that we forgot about. I guess I could do... Oops. I guess I could do this to double check. Make sure there's no, like, apples or anything random in some of these rooms. Because we haven't been in here in a long time. Right, so nothing of interest in here. No books to read. Here. Can't interact with the statue. <laughs> Go to our little little speech area. We got the item that was in here already. Do some quick checks. Because this is an area we genuinely... Like, we have, like, no reason to go here, like, 90% of the time. So I might as well just check now that we're at the end of the game. So if I miss something in between, I miss something in between. There's nothing that could really be helped at this point. Since we're pretty deep into the game. Literally on the final area. What's this? I don't think we've been in this room. What is this area? It's like a kitchen? Interesting. Oh, Bashley, what? Wait, why is cliche here? Oh, Bashley, welcome back. Dundrago starts to give off a silent white light. Wait, why is she here and not in the other place? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'm lucky I was looking for uh, any missed up conversations because I would not have guessed she was here, to be honest. What the? What's this light? Yeah, why is she not back at the inn? Bashley, what's going? Oh. Okay, well, that was very, very lucky. I guess maybe it's the third floor that had their stuff. Cliche, this is your universe, right? It's you yourself, right? Oh no, don't talk about the selves. We could be here all day. Cliche. I'd wish days like this would last forever. Never doubted that days like this would continue. Ashley and I are here. The plain old everyday world is still here. An ordinary daily life is going to continue ordinary forever. Don't come here. Don't destroy eternity. <laughs> what is... what? I'm afraid. I've had enough. To wound and be wounded. How could something so scary happen on a regular basis? I just want to be with Bashley. Fighting is to protect eternity and for a time when I didn't know Bashley. For nothing to change, for everything to stay as the eternity from before. Is that what Cliché hopes for? You want to believe that eternity is when nothing changes? Nothing changing. I don't think such a thing exists. Times change and evolve. We're forever encountering moments of continual change. This could cause despair, or it could lead to a different response. It's possible to want to see how the world turns out, to see what the future will bring. That's what I believe. Hope? Yes. The power to wish for tomorrow. The power to wish for a day you've not yet seen. I wonder if I have that power. Of course you do. But you won't find it in an eternity. You're right. I understand it now. Bashley taught me. My wanting to be with Bashley is not in eternity. Forever for sure and evermore. From now on, we'll always be together. That's right. Hope is on the other side of this moment, far away from eternity. Ashley and Cliché say together, My wish is, my hope is always for the future. Stone Drago. Which again, I feel like they could have spared another letter there, but it's funny that they call it Stone Drago. Desire leads to strength and reaches me as light. 
The long extinct desire has been awakened by one who remembers hope. Stop me if you seek the future. When dark clouds block tomorrow, my power will become a westerly wind to pierce and dispel it. Okay. I am Zephyr, the guardian lord who guards people's hearts in Filgaia. Hope's light will become the power to expand the future. Zephyr acquired. I mean, I still want to go check out the other floor. I don't, I don't know what that had to do with pretty much anything. But hey, that's one more down, I guess. Hmm. We just... We're just not going to acknowledge what happened. I, I guess she's just okay with whatever happened. So Zephyr is all about massive damage? Okay. What ability did that unlock for hello? Apocalypse. Oh man, Chad. We, we have to unlock that before the end of the game. Non-elemental attack all. How much does it cost? 96? Sounds so fun. Alright, uh, let's give it to him, maybe? Or I could give it to Irene. Yeah, let's give it to her for now. This makes her tankier and faster. Kind of her only... Wow, she has a 40% parry rate? That's actually insanely high compared to the other party members. I guess I could lower her vitality to give her more sorcery. Ultima Wild Arms Edition, pretty much. Alright, so we still don't have the levels to do the bonus bosses, because I think the status up is required. Unless I think I could do enough damage right now to kill the stupid healing boss. Alright, I still didn't find what I was looking for, so we're gonna keep going. So that's the meeting room. Nothing in here. So I guess I could very briefly dip into the final dungeon if I think the tool is there. Alright, I'm not seeing any cutscenes or items, so it looks like Villain's office doesn't have anything of interest. So the only thing we're missing is the final item, which we can then do the Pirate Warren, which I think will probably lead to a boss, which will then lead to us having enough experience to do the remaining bosses. I think we could get there eventually, so there's no, no reward for checking out their bedrooms again. Maybe I'll just leave then. Oh well, it's worth a, worth a shot in case there's like a secret item left behind. So the only other thing I can think of is we could go visit, um, uh, what do we call him? Fido? I think revisiting Fido might give us an item. <laughs> I did think about that. <laughs> it was like cycling through the names. It was like the Mario Kart item select sound was going on. We'll, t we'll talk to Brad and Fido. And then I guess we could see if anything opened up in the overworld, the, the view. So again, I think Thesaurus has enough HP to deal with all the bosses, so he's the only character right now that can survive. Was it Tabak Village? It's been so long since we've been to some of these places. Like, literally months. I think this is it. Okay, this is promising. I'm sure we didn't miss any items in here. No items outside either. Found the dog. 
every day. She's so anxious. Mary, if today will be the day Thesaurus comes. Reminds me of when I was awaiting my husband's return. Hello, everyone. Welcome and thanks for coming. Mister, when Fido gets better, does that mean you won't come here anymore? Oops, what am I saying? Never mind. Right, let's talk to her as this character. Hey, mister. You come to the village just to visit Fido? Oops, what am I saying? I'm sorry. Hmm. Alright, so nothing special between those two. Uh, is this the house with the character from the war? Yeah, it is. The light. It's expanding. Wow. <laughs> Dumbfounded silence in square brackets. <laughs> okay, that's that's my that's my favorite translation so far. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna top that chat. <laughs> just just that in in square brackets. Terra's Pharma, yeah, it's Terra's Pharma, Blue Donna. Amazing. Stone Lion starts to give off a silent white light. Like, did they just run out of time? Like, what happened to the end of this game? What could that light be? Fido? Just wait for Emote to show up? Oh no. We did have them talking in Emotes at one point. That did happen, actually, sadly. Nero should be a symbol of how to control one's power. Beginning to understand your true feelings. Fido dot dot dots. No. Strictly speaking, you just might reach a different conclusion. A different conclusion? Yes. We don't have a need for heroes anymore. That's what I believe now. Are you saying heroes are unnecessary? That's not really what I meant. A hero isn't bestowed on you. Nor can they be relied on, nor do they have shape. But a hero exists in the hearts of anyone who tries to accomplish something. Fido dot dot dots. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't dumbfound in silence us there, chat. That's essentially what you meant when you said a hero should be a symbol. I almost feel like adding that to Blue Donna. Just have a chance of dumbfound in silence. <laughs> hmm. If that's what you think, it must be right. For you to say that, you, the one who knows me best, means... A hero. He isn't just a convenient, powerful being that always saves people from serious danger. Alright, I was making a note to do that to Blue Donna later. I think at some point we can add another thing for quotes. If we feel there's a character with like really dumb lines, I think we can help. We can add another Blue Donna equivalency so Chat could have more fun with it. Maybe they'll respond to each other. A hero's symbolic role is to show everyone that they possess within themselves similar powers. Another way of putting it is courage. And your current team members taught you this. Yes, they made it clear to me. They've continued to fight of their own will and strength, rather than rely on the hero of Slayheim. They may not realize this, but they have become heroes themselves. And when this is repeated by others, then heroes really will no longer be necessary. I'm glad I left things in your hands. You're my hero. A hero embodies the will to show courage. They personify... That's not how you spell personify. They personify bravery. Shake off doubts and step forward. Follow the road indicated with the spiritual strength to never lose. So Lion says, Desire leads to strength and reaches me as a guidance. The long extinct desire has been reawakened by the one who hasn't forgotten courage. What you desire is strength of heart. You best stop me. Why do they keep saying stop me? You mean like find me? Like, uh, whatever. When confusion clouds your path, or this conversation, my power becomes the sword to crush the universe and solve the problem. I am Justine, the guardian lord who guards people's hearts and fill Gaia. The sword of courage will make the heart full of strength. Justine acquired. Okay. 
Well, I guess that solved the mystery of what the stone things do. I don't know when we could have done this, but we found out eventually. So I give up sorcery, but this is just good overall things. Alright, so what's the final ability that we unlock here? Bold Lance, a single target ability that costs 77 TP. Interesting. Um... So I think what I want to do is dump everybody's response speed as low as possible. Wow, Justine makes him go real quick. That makes that a lot easier. So I think I want Irene out of the party for a moment. Welcome, Kirk. Hope you're doing well. I need somebody slower. Perfect. Back on that wild arm train for now. You did miss, like, one of the best dialogue moments of the game. I'm not gonna lie. I, I did have a laugh at the game's expense on that dialogue. But hey, we, uh, d did it? Question mark? So, we're now just trying to figure out where this last tool is. Is it in the final dungeon, is the question. Hmm. Because I definitely do not want to beat the game. So as soon as we can find it, we'll go fight the op optional boss and then beat all the optional bosses left in the game. And then we'll beat the game. Are there any other locations that have opened up in the world map? There's an area over here, which is presumably where the final area is. Oh. Can I not land here? It's fine. We'll do this then. Oh. Can I not land here at all? Oh. Oh, that's horrible. Where do you want me to go? Oh, you... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, is there something else that I could do that does not involve walking, like, a million miles? <laughs> that I haven't done yet. So there's one thing there. Has anything else appeared on the overworld? I'm gonna do a quick little, little check. If there hasn't, then that tells me that that can't be the final dungeon. Unless there's, like, a part two to it. Because we have to be able to get the final tool in the game. I don't think I've missed any side quests. We've dealt with all the mystery items. I'm not seeing anything new to do here. So I guess what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a little sneak peek. I don't intend to complete this dungeon tonight as I, I'd like to only go for like another half hour or so, but I want to go at least until we get potentially a tool. So I'm not seeing anything else to do on the minimap other than that one spot. So if it was in another dungeon, big oops, I did not find it. So anyway, I think we got to take the long, awkward walk. And in the meantime, we can use this as an opportunity to learn our final... Many, many final spells on Hello. Although I don't think he's going to learn all of them by the end of the game, sadly. So I definitely don't want to skip any encounters. But we should be able to one-shot every encounter with him. So we're going to get somewhere between one and three. We're going to tell him to Valkyrie Grendel. And you could skill Drain Grendel if it survives. That did not do a lot of damage. Spiral Typhoon. Hmm, Bashley took, like, no damage from that. Very interesting. So this enemy is just kind of a giant waste of time. Hopefully we could just kill this and move on. Oh, I have an insta-kill. Let's go for the insta-kill. If this doesn't kill, we'll just fight something else. It's not a big deal. Oh, he did get the kill. 5,000 money. Money doesn't matter anymore. Until we get another arm, which may or may not happen... Money has no meaning to us anymore. I don't think there's any items. I don't think we can mass buy escape dolls in this game. I guess I could check out the odd headquarters one time before we do the bonus bosses. Just to double check. There's nothing worth purchasing. We got back attacked. 
the thesaurus should just try to block. Oh, it's all the people that... Oh. You're making me fight with the team that I don't want to play with? I didn't register that until just now. That's awkward. I mean, I guess I'll just do random attacks. You know what the other thing we never came across was, chat? We never found the uh, Necronomicon that was in the first game. Remember that? We got that in the weird space dimension. I'm assuming it's in this game. I mean, it could literally be in the dungeon we're about to go to. Because that would also explain why we weren't doing enough damage on some of those bosses. Like, that would be like a, oh, like that kind of makes sense kind of moment. So if we can find one of those, that that might be enough to let us do the turtle boss. Because then we just give the ability to two different characters. Because we don't need defense at all in the turtle boss. Um... Hmm. I wish I had a slightly better ability to use here. Are you weak to earth? No. That did a lot of damage. I'm gonna have to heal here. Alright, let's build the meter then. Please stop targeting hello, or have hello use advanced guard. Oh, that did no damage. Are you weak to win if you absorb Earth? My chat, we'll figure it out eventually. What is your weakness? It is wind. Okay. The more more money that we don't need. So we need to fight like 30 of those to level. Which, like, it could happen. Like, if that's the only gateway between us and doing the boss, I will grind it out. I just prefer we got a little better XP. Because Bashley only needs 24,000, Gremlin needs 30k. I would rather Hello get it at least once, so we need to do at least 43k worth of dungeon at some point. So somewhere in the next 14 kills, he should unlock a new spell, and then we can move on to teaching him other things. Gasnoid? Uh, let's see how he likes fire attacks. Immune to fire? I would have thought gas would have been combustible, but apparently not. Foolish me, chat. So what is gas's weakness? Is it wind? Like, do we blow the gas away? What? Alright, I'm just gonna use Valkyrie on him at this point. I, I don't know what his weakness is. Hopefully there's just one-shots. It did. Good. I mean, if we fight like three of those, one Valkyrie does speed up the spell learning process. But I've also noticed we're only getting into fights with single enemies, which is super awkward because that makes learning spells a total pain. Oh, silly me. I went the wrong way. You, you got me, game. I had to go the other way here. Teehee. So again, I'm doing this because I need experience regardless. I just prefer if we could learn spells while also doing it, it would be nice. Oh yeah, you. Are you weak to thunder? I don't remember. No, you're neutral to it, but it kills you anyway. I'm reminded of the one monster in Final Fantasy that you fight at the very beginning of the game. For uh, Final Fantasy 6 slash US version 3.
Ooh, lots of new enemies. I might actually try to learn a technique here. I don't think we fought Panagruel before, right? So then blocking should just work. No, nothing from Panagruel. Okay. Maybe I got their ability already? Oh, nice advanced guard. Alright, so if we get hello to kill three of these, we should be within 10 or so of what we need. Let's try Cosmic Ray because they attack me, so they should just die here. The plus side of our character is sometimes we just have a win button. Mini Carrot to build Force Gauge faster, which might be relevant in some boss fights, since Force Gauge might equal defense. And that would explain how to survive some of the nonsense we saw before. Wait, what? Oh, there's a little path there, I was gonna say. It's like, it's like, wait a minute, how do we reach that? Spiral Tower. I mean, I'll take a little bit of a look. But I don't intend to complete the dungeon today. We're just looking to see if a tool's within the first couple of floors. Oh, hey, chat. Another area where skating would cause you to fall instantly. Oh, skating. You're so pointless in this game. Every room is like a death trap for you. Oh, are we doing this? Are we? Oh, is it? Is it pick a path? Are you randomly just going to switch on me? Oh, yeah. Here we go, chat. Pick a path. Oh, do I have to miss cloak? Oh my gosh, get out of here. Did you see that fall? Yeah, I didn't fall for that one at least. Nonsense. New equipment would also matter for a boss fight. Oh, Mega Berry is not equipment though. Hope you're doing well, RJ Chaos. We're definitely in the spiral for sure. Oh, there's not even a switch over here. That's awkward. <laughs> okay, hopefully there's at least a good enemy in here that gives like XP or like new ability. That'd be nice. What are you? Quaddle? I'll just try to do neutral damage to you and maybe skill drain you. We have it set up that hello always goes first. So we should be able to kill everything. Presumably this won't kill the creature. I'm just setting it up for next turn. Let's see if you get a new ability or not. Do not. This is like the fifth enemy I've seen with that attack. Cool. It does no damage to me. Sadly, I can't use Cosmic off of that. Uh, let's try to use Light Attack and see how much damage that does. Because at this point, I just want to feed all the kills to Hello if we're able to. We can find all the other spells. Really, it survived more than two spells from us. Interesting. That should let us use uh, Cosmic Ray now, though. Ooh, not quite. Four point shot. Um, are you weak to darkness? But you did die, and you're worth terrible XP. <laughs> right, chat? Like, that's not going to level us. You, you should give us at least 2,500-ish. Two, I'm not asking for much here, chat. I just I just don't want to grind out, like, 30 encounters just to get one level. Because that's all we really need, I think. Do the bosses. There's a door here we can't get through. There is presumably something we have to do here. The Lost Tales of Genesis will hereby be imparted. The sun glitters with hope. One's heart is filled with hope. The darkness ex exits and the sun appears. I place... Okay, I don't want to press the plate. The that turns from the moon to the sun won't change the past, the future, nor the present. I'll press the plate.
Oh no, is this... Wait. Lost Tale Genesis will hereby be imparted. Looking down are the new moon and the old moon. Kind Mother's face and cruel queen of the night. I'm going to press the switch. I am Saturn. Okay. <laughs> chat was joking about Saturn earlier. Look, chat. Saturn did happen in the game, finally. I'm Saturn, god of agriculture and ruler of the world during the Age of Happiness. I don't know what any of this means. I'm Wotan, leader of the Wild Hunt, and a specter's riding the winds of winter storms. I am Tiyu, god of sky and war, bringer of the flame of disaster to destroy all creation. I am Frigg, goddess of love and fertility. After losing my husband, Odd, my tears turn to gold. I am Thor, god of thunder, wielder of the hammer Mjolnir, and the defender of the Aesir. Okay, so what did any of those have to do with each other? Hmm. Oh boy, chat. Let me think about this. I don't know if I understand the riddle. Is that a monolith? Oh my gosh. I think I understand this. Oh my gosh. This is gross. Ew. You're disgusting. I think I understand what it is. That is disgusting. I hate riddles like this. So... I was thinking, like, what is the relevancy of seven different switches? And I'm like, what do I know of that has seven? And then my first thought was days of the week. And then I'm like, is Thor Thursday? And Moon is Monday? Am I just doing days of the week? Are we really doing a days of the week puzzle? You disgust me. That's Monday. Where was Tears or whatever it was? No, Wotan is Wednesday. Get out of here. Uh, you're Tuesday. You're Wednesday. Thor was over here. Holy. You're Saturday. We need Friday. I don't know if I would have gotten that normally. If, if, uh, if I was not thinking specifically about the number seven, that would have been a very annoying process of figuring this out. Get out of here. Get out of here with your silly riddles. I'm tired of you. So we've had color puzzles, math puzzles. Now we've had days of the week puzzles. Truly, this game has them all, chat. I don't think it needs to have them all, but <laughs> here we are. I'm just looking for a new item. Hmm. What do you want me to... Can I move this? I can't grab this. Can I kick these or push these? We have so many tools. We also just have these switches here. I don't remember if these were activated by anything. We're gonna play the game- We're gonna play the game of what of my many tools interact with the puzzle. I can't teleport through there. Oops. What am I forgetting about? I don't think Jump Shoe will do anything. I mean, you, it would just make sense that Jump Shoe would skip the puzzle. <laughs> but you know, that would- That would just be too convenient. Um... You want me to bomb this? You want me to boot it? Huh. Yeah, sadly I don't have anything to smash it. Unless there's something in the room I gotta break up. No. Is it just being finicky with me? Oh, it's just being finicky with me. Or I had to step on the switch as I bombed it. Oh, whatever. Of course. <laughs> just like... 
this game sometimes. Alright, so I think I gotta do something like this. And I do more than one at once. Alright, so we figured it out. Now, normally it would seem like that treasure's inaccessible, but Puka doesn't care. Mega Berry. That was my reward for doing a puzzle. I don't know about that. You know, I have to say... It's interesting, we're, we're going down a tower in an RPG rather than going up a tower. Pabble Sag? Uh, I'd prefer not to see what these things do. I think we'll just one-shot these. If they survive, we'll skill drain. Not weak to light, despite looking like skulls. Interesting. So again, we're chipping away at the required XP to fight the bonus bosses. So I think once I level, I'll get the stat ups. Hopefully I don't need three ranks in the stat up. Otherwise, I'm like five levels away. So there's three things here. Oh, this is such an awkward camera for this room. This, do this. Hmm. Now we're puzzle in chat. Seriously? There we go. Okay, so I could drop off the sides there. Just looking for items before we do that. There's another switch over here. We can bring gamer times, pretty much. Why do we need to- oh, because I can't make the gap. So, do I have to skate for the first time, chat? Can I make this without skate? Oh, we can by a long shot, never mind. Oh, skate. You almost had a purpose. We- I almost had to select you. No, skate was useless once more. Rip skate. We're just doing our cool man strut to the finish line. Speaking of which, ooh, we need 37,000 to level. So still got quite a distance. Doable with... Oh my gosh, why are there so many things? Hmm. Okay. Well, presumably something will happen when we touch these. Let's find out. Cute. Alright, so... There's the exit. There's another exit I can't do anything with. Is there anything in the corner here that I can't see due to camera? Don't see it if there is. We'll go this way for now. Are we finally... Are we finally gonna end up with the item I've been looking for? There we go. Flare gun is a tool used by Bashley. Press square to shoot the flare gun overhead to eliminate the surrounding darkness. Fire it upwards to hit switches above your head. Alright, so we finally got our last tool. So it is a flare gun. That was a good guess. So now, chat, we have to leave. <laughs> you realize now I have to reverse our way through all this. So we just came for that one tool. I'll go fight that bonus boss, though, that requires this. And then I think next time will be maybe as many bonus bosses as we can. On the plus side, if we fight presumably a bonus boss, or I'm hoping there's a bonus boss in this other area, I'm making another assumption there, but assuming there's another bonus boss up ahead, what that will mean for us is that we're going to get probably about two levels for every party member, which also just raises our minimum health and resistances, which might be enough to go kill the dragon boss. We'll see. 
But in either case, getting a little bit of extra XP on the way there makes sense, because if I do need four levels versus one or two, Sun Flare would make a big difference. So we're getting closer to learning all the death spells. We can't be that far away at this point. Well, we got a revive fruit. That's actually huge. Because I, I was running low on those thanks to the bonus bosses. So now I know I could just get them on the way to the final boss, potentially. Which is good. Because I only need like a handful. Alright, so we should at least be able to get out of here pretty quickly, if nothing else. So hopefully these puzzles do not reset when we leave this dungeon, or I'm going to be very sad later. So again, we're squeezing out extra XP. Because this is probably the best XP that I know of. But I'm sure there's better areas we could use at some point. L. Bucky. Is that a rabbit? Or something on its... Doing a handstand? What is it doing? Oh no, it's a cat. Never mind. I seeing the twin tail, I thought it was a rabbit ears connected to the head, but I see it better now. Come on, learn the death spell. Gotta be so close. Let's see let's see how close we are out of curiosity. Imagine we have to be within like six. Let's see if that's true. We're We're still 19 away? What? Is that true? Oh, did I switch his thing out? Oh, I've been learning the Courage one. Oh, that's still fine. Okay, how much do we have in the Courage? Ooh. So, we would have been three away had I left it on death. But learning Bold Lance might also be fine, honestly, for bosses. I think that's fine. That's one of the two spells I wanted anyway for the end of the game. But sadly, as I said before... It's not going to be super likely that we're going to learn all of our spells, because unfortunately we got 299 basically requirement ones all the way at the tail end of the game. If they gave those to us like three dungeons ago, I probably could have completed one naturally on its own. I'm definitely going to forget how to navigate that bridge, just letting you know, chat. I already saw the tiles restore themselves. So anyway, here's hoping that this little bit of extra XP will be the difference between us getting two levels or not. Um, Try an ice attack. See if it speeds things up a little bit. Nah, really. It's a fast animation. It's using wind. Do I use earth on it to kill it faster? Wow, that did legit zero damage. That was actually just kind of embarrassing for the enemy, when you think about it. <laughs> right, chat? Like, wow. Did actually 50. So we're definitely over-leveled for this area. I think I could agree there. Okay, we saw it use wind. We countered with earth. That made sense. So slowly but surely, we might get at least two levels on a bonus boss. And then from there, it's just a question of... If I can't survive it still, how do I get levels the fastest in this game? Maybe I just hunt a whole bunch of lucky cards and then do hard encounters. Since we had one boss, but that would have only been about 30,000, which is not good enough for where we are in the game. Oh yeah, that's right, you won't drop off of this. Hello, random attack. You were surprised. Oh no, what surprised us? Oh. Love the weird crying face on the jar. We're being attacked by emotes, chat. Guess I'll just use Valkyrie real quick. Your spell resistance matters not to me. So yeah, we're basically trimming out maybe doing a normal boss's worth of XP. Because at this point, we need, like, somewhere between 60 and 80,000 to level. So doubling, like, a 100,000 XP boss... Well, more, more like an 80,000 XP boss. It's probably only going to net us two levels. But on the off chance that we're really close to leveling right now, we might get a third level out of it. That's the thought process.
Goodbye, Wojanoid and Osei. I guess it's also possible that Pirate's Warren might give us access to a final arms. Curiosity, what was our money total? I didn't even look. 184,000? That's not bad. Ashley's only 10,000 away from leveling, so we are making progress. I might legitimately level just from doing these random encounters. Just going to and from. Is Bashley getting one level is enough to, for him to get the upgrade, which is good. And hello is so fast right now with this current setup that learning that final ability should not take as long as it seems. 2200 XP, okay. That was good XP. Just five more of those and we get a level, which I'm okay with. So give me more of those. Don't give me like the elite monsters. I don't care about those. They're not worth it in this game. XP from them makes no sense. They should have been like com comparable to like the multiple monsters. See, so, yeah, I think overall we got about 40,000 extra XP. Um. Gonna use Ice on Abu OQ, and I think I'm just gonna attack this just straight up. We'll check out for Earth Weakness. Oh, it is weak to Earth. Awkward. Oh, see, he was worth 3,000. Okay, so he's an example of the thing that I want to fight. Because we were fighting those other big enemies, and they were like, giving us, like, 1,200, which was not worth it, because it would take multiple turns. That enemy being weak to Earth, absolutely worth it. So, yeah, there's a very strong chance Bashley is going to level at this rate before the next boss. We'll put characters like Hello more likely to level again. I might put Valkyrie at the top of the spell list, since this is the only spell that I'm using. We'll see. So yeah, I'm just hoping all this, like, little bit of extra XP will help us, if nothing else, have enough raw base stats to get multiplied by things like Kirk Weapon. So I imagine within two encounters, we should get somebody leveling. Come on, another 3k XP play. Come on, be the thing we saw earlier. Oh, this is good. This is 2200. Like this. Yeah, you can see on the plus side, if we slow down our other companions, it is definitely much easier to learn spells. Like, we're still so fast that we go first, yet we're not interrupted by other people's turns. And at this rate, I think we can also afford another arms, which is good. Assuming it happens. I guess I didn't technically have to walk here to go to the flying creature. Can you just give me, like, one more encounter? He's at 1900. Come on. You're right, chat, like, come on. So close. Oh. Oh! <gasps> Necronomicon! Um. We want this, chat. We want this really badly. So I do not want to kill these the normal way. Um, don't know what this thing's weakness is. One moment, let me think. Is it a drop item? Hmm. Well, I guess that answers the question of where the Necronomicon was. Should have the ability to steal, right? Pickpocket? Yeah. Let's see if she could pickpocket it, and then we'll just go for kills. Just in case they have something on them, we should check. But more likely than not, we have to actually kill them to get the reward. So, rare enemy, because you saw we did all those encounters back and forth, and this is the first time we saw these enemies. Heal berry acquired. Okay, not worth pitbocketing. 
Great disaster. How much damage is this? Ooh, but it confuses me. Ooh. Oh, these enemies are kind of annoying. Um... Would you kindly perish? <laughs> right, chat? It's gonna go ahead and, uh... Smack a book up real quick. Okay. Like the one shot. The low going in? Will he kill with melee damage? Heck yeah. Oh, they didn't drop it though. Oh man. We do have a spell that might guarantee a drop on kill, but... Man, that enemy was super rare though. I mean, as I said before, what was that? Like 20 encounters? Like a 1 in 20 spawn chance is not great. Do I need another fight to level? Not really. I don't care about gremlin leveling. Let's go back to Town of Maria. So Bashley getting the attack up is huge. Because he's going to be one of the characters we're probably going to use on the turtle. If we could get Necronomicon to drop its drop, that is probably what will push us over the damage threshold. Since that's typically the highest... Uh, damage boost you could get for sorcery spells. Ooh, that really sucks that that's a rare encounter. Be there a while. So Bashley would need four levels to hit his basically best potential. Just possible. It's possible I could get him up two more levels. We still have presumably a couple story bosses we could fight if we're really desperate to like scrape another level out. But I'm hoping between all those things that Bashley should just basically be invincible. So the thought process is, we've seen enemies doing like 6,000 or so to us. I'm thinking by having a rank 2 in it, we're possibly only going to take 5,000 or 4,000 damage. Oops, I got baited by the camera. And I'm thinking that would mean we can survive things like 7th Moon if we hit it at max. And then the other thing that I'm thinking of is that we just need to get more wall damage. Or the turtle boss. So there's a couple bosses that were just being gate kept by like damage checks, both for and against us. And keep in mind, Hello still has not received a single boost there. So if we see Hello taking way more damage than everybody else, we know 100% for a fact this stat up was required, which I wish I knew about earlier. We, I kind of like thought about if we were skipping that or not. It's not like anybody mentioned in a chat or anything. So. Unfortunate, if that's how that works. But anyway, we should be able to go to the Pirate Warren. So let's go see what this does, and then we'll take a break for the night. The Pirate Warren was over here. So if you remember, we're in a room... Or we were in a dungeon that needed a whole bunch of duplicators. But there's one door we couldn't open. Now we should be able to do so. I don't think I'm going to be that scared of whatever is here at this point. I don't think it could be worse than getting 7th Mooned. <laughs> right, chat? I I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. That was like right here, I think I had to be. Uh huh. There we go. Flare Gun's one usage outside the final dungeon. We did it. Oh, do I- oh, wait, do I have a duplicator? Oh, no. Oh, I have two. Okay, thank you. That would have been so trash. Oh, wait. Battle? Oh, 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 okay. What is this? Mother Battleship Gatlork? What? Um, how did we not see that? What is this? Oh, it literally has like a ship embedded in it. And I feel bad for it. I think we just kind of interrupted it. Well, first aid. Build some meter. Alright, so we horribly outspeed with hello. Irene's probably still gonna go first. Ooh! You dodge melee? Ooh, that's not good. Bubble clustered us. How much does that do? 
quite a bit and you disease us? Ooh, that is really annoying. Well, we only have two characters that can do spell damage. So I'll swap into them. Hello's kind of in trouble here. I mean, I probably want to get immunity to this, like, ASAP. Yeah, disease is one of the most annoying status ailments in the game. It stops me from healing. So I think what I could do is... Hopefully remove disease with medicine. Then Vicky 2 will heal him. She can't use high heal. Of course not. That would be useful. Um... Does she have a basic heal? Did I not assign it to her? I don't think I did. But we have berries. This is fine. So heal. And then let's see if this thing has a weakness to rock. Hmm. Not really. It takes neutral damage. We need Vicky 2 to get just like a little bit more meter. Poison bubble. Poison's fine. I can deal with poison. Disease is the thing that is a problem. Like I can legit just ignore poison. Poison doesn't really matter. Alright, let's assume you're weak maybe to lightning damage. And if not, we'll test fire as the backup. I really need to sort her abilities out. Let's use her Rob there, and then we could chest air. I would imagine it's weak to lighting. Okay, it is. Good, good, good. Gremlin barely doing any damage. That's so sad. Also weak to fire. Hmm. Okay. Hello, taking quite a lot of damage there. I'm gonna go ahead and AoE heal with him. Do I have a level 2 ability? I don't have a level 2 fire or lightning? Seriously? Oh, it's at the top. Oh, let's use, uh, we haven't used Steve's. Steve's. <laughs> I could see if, I could see if Absolute Zero does damage. Okay, so we're surviving. Power of Steve is here. Almost, almost 10,000. That was insane damage. Oh, Vicky 2 advance guarded. That was disrespectful. Right, I think this is in the bag then. I don't think I'm that worried. We can use our battery just to mix it up a little bit. So yeah, Vicky 2 is really hard out damaging him. And I think the only reason this is really happening is purely due to the up status effect. I don't think her magic is higher than Hello's to that level. We're gonna double check after this. Like he he is he doesn't have a magic. I'm sorry, what? He doesn't have, like, a magic booster on, to be fair. But, like, that's a really big difference. Where's the I have a full revive in here, right? Somewhere. Do I not? I mean, I have a, I have a slow revive, which is fine. Oh, there it is. Uh... I guess I could activate the Asgard just because. Oh, that reminds me. I better use a... Before I kill this boss, I better actually go make sure we use the card. Or I'm going to be very sad and I'll restart. I'm assuming we're not that close to killing it. If this kills it, I'm going to be very sad. Okay, good. It didn't kill. So hello is going to be without any magic at all, which is going to be super painful. Oof, he got diseased again. 
We're gonna have Hello use his uh, card then. Uh, Vicky, do you have a cure status ailment in here? I don't remember. You have that spell. I don't know if I taught it to you. Looks like the answer to that is no. Unfortunate. Uh, let's remove disease. And Gremlin can just... Air Slash, I guess? So again, hopefully this will give us... I'm hoping 100,000 total. If it gives us more than that, great. If it gives us less, it's gonna suck. We're gonna have to get the XP somewhere else. Alright, please... Build some meter. The Vicky 2's our only damage dealer now. Hello can't heal anymore because he's out of FP. But what I could have him do is I could use the mini carrot, which we had earlier. Vicky 2 could focus on damage, because that's probably what you should do at this point. Then you can self-heal just fine. Because the 2000 heal doesn't matter, I think, in the long run. I'm, I would only be basically using full HP heals on all bosses going forward. So we're back at 41, so I can first aid if I need to, which heals like 3k to everybody. Gremlin's out of kill range. This should do almost another 10,000 again. So now we're starting to output some serious damage. So I might just have Gremlin heal hello here, just so that I can spam more. Let's do Napalm hit into Stickman into heal. Hopefully he survives. Please don't take damage at the end of your turn. Okay, good. <laughs> Hopefully he survives this. I guess it depends on what the boss does, whether he lives this or not. Another 10,000. And she seems to be getting stronger and stronger. Like, it's not a big damage difference over time. But if that's what Stata does, give us, like, another 1,000 or so, that's kind of huge. Did that insta-kill? Mm. <laughs> right, chat? Mm. Okay. Super rude. I put my other characters at a kill range, at least. So I think at this rate, she should be hitting for over 10,000 by quite a bit. So I'm seeing even at rank 1, it's looking like it's adding about 1,000 damage to her attacks. Which is pretty big. I'm gonna have Hello heal again. I'm now wondering, because if Gremlin died, if it's just worth... ...subbing out Gremlin altogether. It just might be. Oh, actually, good question. I wonder if the uh, arm attacks still hit this boss. Because that might be okay then, and I could get away with them for now. Aid on everybody. And good dual cast stick, man. Do that on our battery. That should do a lot. Let's try lock on with Sky Eye, I think it was. Let's try it. Presumably this shouldn't miss, but we'll see. I'm hoping this kind of one-shots the boss, but we'll see. I don't know if I've done enough damage. Okay, that was enough. <laughs> we took damage to the end. 100,000 experience? Exactly. Okay. We've seen level ups make a big difference with survivability. Now the question is, what was in this chest? Let's get rid of poison before we go further, because that's a dumb way to die. Hello got a little extra health. Bashley only got about 100 health. I see how many FP points they have unused. Or everybody got just enough. <laughs> like, literally just enough. Okay. So fortunately, we do have a duplicator, so I can open this chest. Power boost acquired. 
Uh-oh. Okay, what is the power boost? Uh, here it is. Increases the strength of the wearer. Is it... I thought it was... Oh, it's in the middle here. Uh... I mean, it's pretty solid. So I could give it to Bashley, maybe, or Thesaurus? Yeah, that's not bad. Could be relevant in trying to out-DPS certain bosses. So, I'll take it. Maybe this is good enough. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to... So I, if we have trouble with the battle and helmets versus the other boss that constantly healed, I think if we could get one Necronomicon, I think we could beat that boss. If we can't beat it currently. I might try a boss real quick. Which one do I think I have a chance against is the question. Do I go back to the one in Sleheim Castle? Maybe. Because we saw some of the bosses didn't have like a big follow-up after their big opener. We have a couple characters that I think can survive that right now, which is good. Uh, let's get the personal skills. So I'm hoping this will be a big damage multiplier for hello, and also a survivability increase. If it's not, it's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, because now I really don't want that cut of usage. Mm. Everybody else got most of the way to the next one, at least. Ashley just needs three levels. Irina only needs two levels. Now question, what was the stat difference between Vicky 2 and the other character? She had 530. If... Okay, yeah, so some something crazy is happening, chat. There was only a 60 sorcery difference, and she was doing double his damage. So I think it had to do with the up status parameter, for sure, at that point. So if, if that's literally doubling our damage, that's kind of bonkers and also kind of unfair how it how like how literally needed it is in the game. That's kind of sucks. But hopefully with this we can survive now. So let's go check out on Slayheim. So we know our 6000 HP character should survive that. I'm gonna double check there's nothing else we need to do with our stats before I go too much further. I do have things reserved in the consumable slot if I need to. Yeah, so he's now rank 2, and I think he wasn't even rank 1 originally. So I guess we'll very quickly check out Slayheim Castle. If we're able to do that, then I think we are in business versus the other boss that requires us to do... I don't know, what was that, like 80,000 damage in 3 turns? So we would have we would have to average at least at least thirty thousand damage or so across each of the turns, which means each character needs to do about ten k, which is kind of brutal. But currently, Vicky Two looks like she could do that much if she hits enemy weakness, and if Hello also gets the damage difference, we might be able to make up the difference with Necronomicon. And also, if we found Fire Magic, Gremlin also might be able to do uh, some damage to. The other boss or was it fire or was it lightning on that boss i don't remember i might just go rewatch the video we did find the boss weakness last time i just don't remember offhand should definitely have written that down for sure so let's see what our survivability is like i'm gonna do something like this i'm gonna use up all of our cheap healing because i don't care it's <laughs> just the easiest way to explain it um, alright. Question. So, Thesaurus should survive. I don't know if Vicky will survive. She does have a lot of HP. Is there anything I can wear to become more godlike, is the question. I don't think I care about stat downs at all. So, she's wearing Secret Sign, which is like the best of the best. Oh, we had another stat booster, but I don't see it in here. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there it is. Holy tablet. So, so he now... Now question, if I do something like this, if I swap these... If she increases the Holy Tablet and he gets Secret Sign, is this good enough? So technically it makes him tankier against some attacks. More importantly, it improves our healing spell. So I'm wondering if this is good enough. Seeing if anything improves Sorcery, nope. I probably don't care about any of these other stats, that's fine. Gremlin stats I don't think really matter. Her stats are just kind of eh. Guess I could just make her super fast. So you have Zephyr. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I think getting Sorcery, as I said before, improves Bashley's alternate form. Let's see how much damage we take from this boss. Now that we've gotten some status ups. So if we see Hello take a lot more damage than the rest of the party, then we know that that is required, and that is really unfortunate we did not put that on him. Because otherwise he would have been the first person to be at full power. So we're going to try Xenon again. Now it says Monster of Light, so presumably it's weak to dark. Which I don't think she has a weakness towards. But we'll see. Let's try to do dark attack. Yeah, I don't think that was in her standard one. I think most of these matter. I'll just try to do one of these. We'll attack just the. Actually, I'll have her attack to build meter. Maybe that'll be relevant for defense. Which is kind of funny to think about that attacking equals defense at this point. Okay. Keep attacking the belly. She doesn't have good multi-attack damage. I could just try to do a single lightning spell to see how much it does. Again, let's just try to build meter. This is the thing that killed us last time, I think. How much is this going to do to the party? No, that still does 7,000 plus. So maybe it doesn't impact damage. So I'm just not quite sure how to survive this attack. Unless the intent is to, like, swap out. Do something like this, maybe? So, like, I think it's possible, but I can only do that once. So I guess it just depends on how spammy it gets with it. not do damage because his other attacks I don't think really do that much to us yeah like that's kind of a whatever so we brought a character back that is no meter she can't cast a single spell that's painful we use blast them I'll try to build meter again on the belly. Oh, it's attacking Vicky too. The only character it can hit that will probably kill. That's so annoying. How did you miss? Now, let's go for full revive then. Irene's building meter. So you can see these other attacks, like, are just not threatening comparatively. So if we could just get Ashley to survive, like, a good hit from it. It's mostly just that AoE spell that's a problem. So if it does that, like, every now and then, we might be able to play around it, now that we understand it a bit better. It's just kind of unfortunate, so maybe we just bring in our worst characters to fight this again. I'm gonna use... Actually, I don't want to do that. Let's just attack the belly. My vortex cut. 
At some point, we might learn a new technique. We'll see. Because, like, right now, see how it's, like, not using it? Like, this is a very doable battle right now. So, in theory, I could sub in um, one of our other characters for tankiness. The so Bashley's almost at full strength. What I think I could do, for safety reasons, if Vicky dies again, it doesn't matter. Let's bring in Bashley temporarily. Or swap out Bashley is what I meant to say. So I think I could do something like this. So if the boss is about to do its attack now, it doesn't matter to me if it decides to do that or not. Full heal. We'll do boost of railgun. And then we'll just try to vortex cut every turn. Oh, Vicky doesn't outspeed. That's a problem. I think that's GG then. I had the right idea. I forgot about the speed differences. So yeah, that's just kind of a hard check. Hmm. No, I don't want to continue. That's fine. So uh, it might be doable. It seems like it's not as random as the other ones. So like, I think in theory I could kill this right now. It just has a very annoying... It just kind of, like, wombos us, and then we die. I'm just thinking about what we would need to do to do better. Is it just something stupid, like, I'm supposed to have something that just makes you immune to it? Is, is that what's happening here? Dare, dare I try to find something? I'm making a note of how much damage we take. Hmm. That has me really curious. I don't see how else you would survive this without, like, a damage down. They wouldn't possibly put this in without a way to get around this. Remember the, what was it, the, the frog ring or whatever that dumb thing was from Wild Arms 1? Is it possible there's a shop I've never found? Hmm. You know what, chat? I have I have a terrible sinking feeling. I think I know where it is. You know, there's one place I have not been to, despite visiting this location often. I swear, if it's here, I'm gonna be so disappointed in myself. We never checked out all of the basements. I don't think all the way through. We went to basement two. But did we ever go to basement one? I don't think we did. Mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. Well, I mean, if we have immunity to the boss's attack, then that would make sense. So the so here's how we would win. If this is if we get a 50% damage reduction or a 100% damage reduction, I will go fight that boss and beat it. Like no contest, we win. Maybe seventh moon is an elemental damage. Maybe that's how you're supposed to survive, Seventh Moon. Don't want to be stuck in here. Oops. Ele Our elemental rings are now ready. Of course. Of course, chat. Of course. Now, question. Do oh, actually, hold on. It says it adds to normal attacks. Oh, wait a minute. This is actually, no, no. Not what I thought this was, but still useful. Because I think what this means is that now, since we know the boss's weakness, can I just use physical characters? I'm gonna get one of each. Actually, I'll get two of each, because it doesn't really matter. I'm assuming this doesn't give us resistance, though. But this also opens up another option versus the boss that needs to get bursted. Hold on. Is there a way to check elemental resistance in this game? I don't know. Not what I thought it was. So...
Vesaurus might be able to just wear the Dark Ring, right? To fight that boss. And then we can also just get that to Bashley. And Irene as well. We can just buy another one of each. Well, our money had a purpose still, I suppose. Okay, so not what I thought it was, but... Hmm. Question. Damage. Let's get off the floor. Oops, actually. Let's try to leave. So, uh, is there a way to get elemental resistance in this game? Hmm. Unless it's like... Okay, let's experiment. Experiment time. So now the question is... If I equip a Ring of Light, does that make me immune to it? Or does it just add elemental damage to it? I think that's worth trying to figure out. Because you know how RPGs are in their like, super, super, super uninformative descriptions. I'm hoping that this is a damage reduction. It means we won't be able to use a lot of our melee characters, if that's true. It does mean we still have a good melee option versus the stupid tanky auto healer character. So if we want melee characters to do more damage by meleeing, it might be possible now. But I think we definitely need to save and figure something out. Okay. So yeah, let's see if let's see if this works the way I expect it to work. Uh goodbye our heal berries. I should probably restock some of these at some point. Alright, now question. We put on light rings. Is this actually damage reduction? And I don't think I want Vicky here. She can't do darkness. Let's get Bashley in instead, because he has more scalability potentially with this. And he has things to damage just in case this does heal the boss. Well, I guess I could still bring her in. I take that back. Because at least she could do damage if she's like that. But the thing I want to double check before we go further... I know he's going to bury her. I guess I could still do something like this and see if this works. Do light ring, light ring, dark ring. So he can survive regardless, so maybe this will work? Because if we have the other character constantly doing damage, that would be nice. I don't think there's anything I want in the level 1s. Is there anything that I can get in level 2 that I didn't take? No, we have literally everything. Okay. So we did miss a couple of caps somewhere, but whatever. <laughs> right, Chad? I think at that point. So we don't have a darkness spell. That's basically what I'm confirming. So what am I going to do? I'm going to save here so I don't need to redo any of my healing or any of my item setup. And then we're going to try one more time the boss in Slayheim. So I'm now curious. Does it like half the damage? Does it absorb? If it absorbs, we're fine. This boss is free. If it does half damage... We should still survive because 7,000 divided by 2 is 3,500, and hello is 39 health, or 3,900 health. So if it's only 50%, that still matters. So we know the boss will always start with barrier, which is nice that the boss actually has an established pattern. I think this is the first time in a very long time we've seen the bosses not just be RNG nonsense. So at least we have a turn or so to figure out how things work. Unlike the other boss that's like 6k, 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 6k. 
Which I'm assuming if we have something that absorbs, which might be the rings, that we only have to survive one set of them. So it might be a scenario where we could beat that other boss alternating attacks by switching who has what rings in every single turn. Which sounds tedious, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's what it wanted you to do. Assistant patterns that are actually reasonably fair and balanced, that's not wild arms, that's true. So let's see. So the only thing I need to know is, will we do enough damage? Back his belly. Let's up our physical damage, because he's the only one likely to survive. Let's have him attack the belly. It should do dark damage, so we should see him do red numbers here. So this is test number one. We should see him take a lot of damage. We're going to wound the boss a little bit. Just free stats at this point. Critical. This is the max possible damage I think we could do. Whoa! Whoa chat. Damage difference. <laughs> um. Okay. I guess I could defend no matter what with these two characters. Holy. Okay, right, so I should survive this because we know it's it's not random. Oh, it halves the damage. Oh, it does what I want it to do. Oh my gosh, the destroyer is here. Oh my gosh, the damage. What is that damage? Uh, I think I know how to beat the bosses now. We're good. Um, don't think there's a question anymore. Oh, can I reduce this defense more? Oh, please tell me I could reduce this defense more. Where is it? I don't. Well, I guess I could reduce the speed slightly. Holy. You fiends have no future? Pretty much. Yeah, GG indeed. Wow, she advance guarded the boss. Get off me. <laughs> Punch. <laughs> Holy. The critical was like better than everything we have. End of the line. Oh, I think it's just you fiends if you wanted that one. Oh, that's sad. That didn't activate. So the only thing we really need to do at this point is just ensure we're doing dark spells. Is that it? Um, I'm going to just hit with a dark spell. You fiends have no future. I guess we'll have her heal because I got nothing better to do. And even if he dies, it doesn't really matter. And honestly, making him auto battle might actually just make this sense. This is the Reaper's power. Yeah, that was such a game changer. Holy. Where's our heal spell? I really need to sort these. These are definitely this a mess. Is the Reaper's power. Here we go. Horn spike. Please don't one shot hello. This is the Reaper's power. Damn it. <laughs> the, the one thing I didn't want to have happen. Damn, it actually happened. Wow, he's still doing 1400 plus. On the plus side, critical now showing that it has a purpose endgame. Alright, so that full heal. Okay. So we can revive him with our other magic, which costs 55, I think. Oh, these spells are so horribly unsorted. Oh, it costs 60. So at this point, we beat the belly already. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to attack again in the next turn. So this should not kill Vicky too, as a reminder. This should half damage. You should survive this. Yup. So we just need an AoE heal. He does a million damage. So Hello should be able to full heal Thesaurus. Vicky should be able to heal herself if she goes first. Let's do... Full heal. Heal yourself. So many abilities. And we're going to absolutely lucky card. 
You did it twice. Oh, come on. What was that? Boo. We got rng We got rng yeah. <laughs> Come on. Is it because I popped the belly? Is that like the ultimate punish? Holy, that was unfair. All right, let's sub some characters in. That is so unlucky. Hit the light ring. Did Okay, we have multiple light ring characters. I think the boss outspeeds me, so hello is dead no matter what here. I think we can win on the next attempt. It's just more annoying that that happened. It did something unusual, and I'm assuming it's because we popped the belly. Yeah, now if it only spams this, this is a problem. It becomes unwinnable. So we need to full heal ourselves. You need to build meter or do normal attacks. Let's do... I don't think it really matters what I do here for damage. And then what we could do is... Mini Carrot Hello? So we could finally do the heals he needs to do. No! How did I get... How did I get outsped there? Game, please. You know... Right, chat? You know? Wow... Seriously? I'm gonna have to redo this because we popped the belly? That is so stupid. I think it's over. Yeah, so we're gonna have to do like a million damage to the back roll one. Yeah, if we pop the belly, this happens, and it's GG. Okay. So popping belly equals horrible nightmare damage. Do I feel like continuing? I guess. I don't think I did anything wrong, per se. So we know the belly is like somewhere between 40 and 60,000 health. Dark ring was definitely the right call. I could swap him into light ring when we're not doing anything. I could have the other characters equip a Dark Ring and just do some damage. We know the first turn he's not really going to do anything. So let's try to do that. Let's go for an all offensive start. Because we know he's just going to barrier on turn run. Let's hit Xenon, hit Xenon, hit Xenon. Everybody should have Dark Ring on. So that way they have more meter when they come in later, which will be useful. Oh. Is... Is his main form not weak to it? If, if not, that's kind of sad. Oh. Did I not equip her with the right ring? If so, that's also sad. So yeah, Thesaurus did... It. Okay, so we probably need to do that like five or so more times. Let's swap equipment. Oh, I, I, I think I canceled it by accident. Okay, so let's give her the light ring. Give you... Wait. You have the light rings. We're going to put on the light ring again, so we absorb. And you can also have the light ring. Actually, no, I don't think this matters. He's going to survive no matter what. So I could reduce damage here if I want to. Let's defend, defend... Hit the belly once. So we built up some meter. They should take very little damage. Six thousand. Now we could sub out Irene for now. I love that Bashley's almost at 100 meter. That's going to be crazy. So we're actually going to put in Vicky 2. So we know he's going to do at least two attacks before I have to worry. Maybe three. I wasn't counting in between, sadly. So don't have enough for a revive. We should have enough for a heal, right? Or can she not do it? Plus 55. We're going to do... A... We're going to do a basic move to build meter. It's a little risky. We're going to double check what my gear was. Light ring. Okay, this should be dark ring. Five. 
So Vicky 2... I don't know if she outspeeds. Let's just use Mega Berry. Ashley will attack Xenon. Osaris will attack Xenon. So we need to get Vicky 2 with like two more FP. So we got punished for her being slightly lower level. So we did another 8,000 to the body. Just need her to build like a little bit of meter. Might just use a carrot on herself for now. Let's pop access. It's seen on again. Oh, it went right into this attack. That's not good. I just lost two characters then. That really sucked. I guess it does it every three from now on. I thought it was more than that. Alright, let's bring in Hello and Irene. Yeah, there's still like a little bit of RNG. Uh, the, the little bit of RNG is really messing me up. Like, knowing when it's going to do it is kind of important to beating this boss consistently, so I definitely do not like that. Uh, if he wears the Light Ring, then he could get through just fine. But I don't think she has an ability to do damage with the Light Ring on, is the problem. Hmm. The Hello can spam a heal. Irene can't do anything, I don't think, but we could try. We'll have him attack the belly. This should put him out of range of a melee attack kill. So she can still do normal. Why is he spamming this? Seriously? Chat, why why is this pattern not behaving anymore? Hello? Was it just random whether he would do this or not? If so, then we're back to the wild arm BS. That I don't appreciate with the bonus bosses without a pattern that you can recognize. Yeah, where were your melee stomps? You didn't even do them earlier. What a jerk. The first aid and I guess full revive. So I should survive the boss doing that attack again. But now all of his meter is gone, which is super awkward. Yeah, melee moves don't super matter here. It matters if it's a low, but that's about it. And our healer got paralyzed. Man, why are you only targeting the only character you could actually do something against? So sad, chat. So I think we got cheesed a little bit, because I would have been able to enter access form, and that would have been a big damage boost. Oh, we got lucky there. I don't think the boss has, like, a ton more health. The question is just when is it going to do the thing that's going to hurt us? So if I w all I want to do is kill it, I think we're fine. We're gonna lucky card so we could definitely get more levels. Please stop attacking Hello with Knockdown. That's the only thing that can kill him, by the way, game. Alright, counterattack doesn't matter. As long as it doesn't do like 500. Yeah, he, I think he'll survive that. So now. We're in kind of an awkward position where I need to cure, but I think the boss is about to stompy stomp us. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the Sarasun with the Light Ring so he can survive this. So then we're going to War Respite into Parrot and hope that the character survives this. Oh, actually, he doesn't need the carrot. Disregard. This should still be fine. Yes, that's fine. 
All right, so we he didn't die. I was thinking the boss was going to AoE us there, but that didn't end up happening. I could block with him if I'm not sure. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to block with hello so he has a chance of survival. And then I'm going to just use bazooka on the belly. All right, the boss has chose not to do the stomp again, so we're we're in wacky world. I don't know. How, oh, there's the stomp. Oh, or there's the BS. There we go. So hopefully he doesn't do it twice here. And now we should be fine. Wow, our, our main weapon does no damage. That's hilarious, actually. All right, so I have no reason to not just keep it on hello the entire time. I could sub out Irene for Vicky for more healing, but I think I probably want to get some damage in if I can. I think I want something like this. Hopefully the boss does not do it twice. If it does it twice, we're ending the stream. <laughs> we're going to say goodnight at that point. Because I, I can't predict if it's just randomly going to do it twice in a row. I'm hoping it doesn't. Let's go for Xenon himself and hit Xenon himself again. So I should survive another attack if we half the damage. Oh, I should have just melee attacked. I don't know why I did a special there. Irene in danger. Like, we're doing good damage. It's just now that there's no consistency, it's just going to take a while. I, I don't trust the boss. I'm going to take a turn to play defensively here. So that way I don't have to reset. Oh, did it put it at the top of the list? It did, okay. Let's play defensively here, just to get our health back up. Once my health is back at full, I'll, I'll be more aggressive. I'll have you defend, and I'll have you defend this turn. Alright, so I want to see the boss do its AoE again, and then I'm going to go back to attacking. I think that's the right strategy. I spam first aid every turn, block, until it decides to do the other attack. So that way we can assume it can't do it twice in a row. Just don't one-shot hello, please. Come on. Right, chat? Like, come on. Like, it had three targets and, like, five abilities. It chose the only one that would stop me from doing my strategy. Come on. Like, literally, two characters are blocking, half damage on every other move. Ridiculous. You watch. Now it's going to do the AoE thing and annoy me. Defend. Defend. Heal with Big Barry if he survives. Oh, okay. Get to play the game a bit more. I still need the boss to do the AoE so I know it's not going to AoE again. I'm going to defend, defend, and use a mini carrot, I guess? Seriously? Are you just not going to do the other ability? Okay, I'm going to switch back to Dark Ring on this. And of course, he gets paralyzed. Of course. Right, chat? Come on. I can't win with this RNG. This RNG is atrocious. I'm just going to defend. He's literally just like locking down my healer. Can you stop so I get to play the game? Now it might actually kill Hello, because he's been doing that over and over and over again. I think he's dead. Come on. Well, on the plus side, I should be able to revive here. Stupid boss. We're earning so many of our revives on some stupid stuff. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. You are gonna go back to Dark Ring. I need to start doing damage again. Irene's speed means she should outspeed. I hope she does not get crit randomly. Let's see what happens. Tusk can kill her. AoE spell can kill her. I'm assuming the boss cannot AoE twice in a row. Th how? How? That is unfair. Can we agree, chat? How is he allowed to target after I revived? Are you serious? 
Wow, that is really cheesy. I don't appreciate that in the slightest. Holy. Wow, completely wasted my turn. I, I, I give up on hello. Our other healer is dead too. Man, this just sucks. This actually just sucks. Man, they did like the only move that would kill him. And it did it, did it twice. What? This is such bad RNG. I might just give up the fight just due to that alone. Because now I'm like constantly reviving. I'm gonna have like no revives for like the actually hard fights. This is so bad. Yeah, I if I have to use one more, I, I'm giving up regardless. I don't think it's worth winning. Even though I think I could kill him right now if I really wanted to. I don't think it's worth winning, losing like literally 60% of my revive items just due to bad RNG. I swear, if he gets targeted again, Five, whatever at this point. Whatever. I don't know if I feel like doing this again. His RNG is so bad. It is getting very late. Ugh. Oh, that RNG is so bad. I'll try one more time, but I'm hard quitting on after this no matter what. I feel like, as I said before, I feel like I could kill him. I just don't want to use, like, of our nine revives, like, five of them. So we know this turn he's not going to do anything. I could take advantage of that and bring in... Ashley for damage. I could bring in Vicky to block the hit so she builds meter, and hello so he builds meter. Which is not a bad idea. I think that was my only mistake last time, was not making Vicky take damage. Because then she never built up enough meter to do her actually required spells. Did you lag my input there? What was that? I definitely hit up but nothing happened. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Melee. Melee. Melee Zedon. Let's put him ahead. That did no damage. So Irene, sadly, even with the damage, booster really does like absolutely zero. Critical here is huge. Saves us a lot of time. At about 1500. So we know this turn we're gonna take some big damage. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna sub out these characters. Which is, I think, the mistake, the only mistake I made last time before that mattered is I need to make sure that these characters have Light Ring on, which they do, and then tell them to block, so that way I have somebody that can heal every turn, and let's start dealing damage to the belly. So I think it is just RNG. I don't think it can use it twice in a row, but after one attack, it can do it again, was my takeaway. Critical on the belly. We know the belly is about 50,000. The main body probably has somewhere around 60 to 80, but we didn't quite hit it. I'm gonna use first aid. Then now that she's been hit, I can go ahead and use my level 2 heal, which was the problem I had last time. And now I can constantly do damage here. So he's gonna heal the, he the healers, keep them topped off. Or the boss could just do it twice in a row. Disregard. There's no safety mechanism. Of course not. Wow. I love losing to RNG chat. It is my favorite thing. I am definitely not really upset that they have this on yet another boss. Or am I going to die to the AoE spam? Okay, I think I get a chance to play the game. <laughs> right, Chad? This feels this feels real fair. I like that it just did it twice. So no, there is no strategy outside the first two turns. It is a true Wild West of nonsense. Um I guess if he survives, Kirk weapon would be good. So we're gonna hopefully just constantly heal and not bother attacking at all with anything else. Advanced guard buying me a turn, thank you. Kirk Weapon hopefully boosting the damage by quite a bit. 
so we can finish this battle up in a reasonable amount of time. Critical would be nice. We did not get critical. Okay. We're gonna first aid. I'm just gonna defend with her. Well, actually, I don't even need to. Let's... Can we do anything else to speed this up a little bit? So it is, like, elemental damage. Does... We negate it somehow with her? Let's see if magic defense matters on herself. Check Xenon again. Again, I'm going to first say it every turn, because I never know what it's going to do, whatever it needs to do. The Saurus dodging is good, now we built up more meter. So she gained more magic resistance. So we finally have an ability to potentially deal with the boss. I'm just going to keep healing every turn. Bring up his magic resistance, maybe. And the next turn, I'll have Vicky use Lucky Card. I might not bother defeating the belly of the monster at this point. If he does it again here, I think I just party wipe and I quit. <laughs> I'm quitting on the spot if he does it again right now. Just absolutely, I'm done. <laughs> this, this RNG is dumb. So we've done more than 30,000 to the body at this point. Please don't die to counterattack. Okay, good. So let's see, Chad. Will I survive or will this just be a really bad RNG yet again? It's all up to the game. It's not up to me. There's nothing I can do, I think, to get out of the party wave. Or I don't feel it's worth swapping if this is what it's going to do. All right. We survived the party wipe. So we have one character guaranteed to survive. I might just have Vicky use a healing item, maybe? First aid. The big berry. I think that's faster than spellcasting. Then hit Belly again, I guess. Alright, so she's out of kill range now, I think. I think. That hitting Thesaurus doesn't matter. Critical is huge. Nope, so she still went last regardless. So I'm going to first aid. I'm going to... Can I use one of my slowdowns on him? I guess it doesn't matter now that I have it. Let's cast it normally. Uh, Didn't break the belly, so let's attack Xenon again. I'm kind of sad I'm out speeding with first aid here, because I'm trying to counter the nonsense AoE. Nice advance guard. We're hitting the back portion again. A lot of damage. If this slowdown works, this would be huge, but it usually misses. So we're gonna first aid into, let's say, a lucky card into a belly strike. So we have like a pattern set up. I've been chipping away at the back, like every two hits to the back leads to one in the front. Gonna one shot hello, because the game hates me. I think that popped him. So I just need to hit him, I think, two or three more times and it's over. But the problem is hitting him two or three more times now that we've lost a character. He again, the boss did the only move that would result in me possibly losing, which is killing the character that was gonna heal us. So I'm I have to attack here. I don't think I have a choice. So Hello will be full healed. I have one turn to maybe kill the boss here. Hopefully this kills. <sighs> Didn't kill. Right, Chad, of course. Why would it kill? Now the question is, does Hello outspeed here? 
So I'd like him to use the full heal. If the boss outspeeds me again on this, I'm just gonna be like, GG. I don't feel like redoing this fight. I don't think it matters what I do here, because it's gonna do the other attack. But again, it, it literally did the only thing that would result in this happening, because otherwise I would have had first aid, so I wouldn't have needed to spend a turn reviving, and then I would have been able to full heal Thesaurus. So I think no matter what, I just have to go for the full heal here. And if he goes first, it's over. It's over. So I, I just, I, I don't know what to say. Like, it's just unfair RNG. Like, I know what I had to do. I can't outspeed the boss. I tried to slow him down. It did not matter. So I get one turn to kill this creature. Because hello is basically useless. Healing is also pointless. So I have to do special moves to damage the boss. I can't afford to use a Dark Ring at all or else I'd die. So, so unfortunate. It killed... I, I'm still very upset it killed the only character that it could kill to mess that up. Because it couldn't have possibly, possibly killed Thesaurus. That wouldn't have mattered at all. And I would have healed, because the other character would have been healing anyway. So stupid. Um... Well, I have to see if I got enough burst damage here. Bashley... Could shoot faster if I need him to. I'm going to try to dead or alive it. Irene, I will just use... Gatling 2 on Wire Fist. Gremlin, I will... I don't even know. I don't think it matters. Life Drain is pointless. Guess I could summon Asgard. Oh, Irene actually outsped. Wait, is the boss not doing its AoE? Or does she genuinely outspeed? I mean, if she genuinely outspeeds it, that's good to know, actually. How much damage did we do? We're getting there. So she can outspeed it. Oh, that's actually good information to know. So I could, in theory, full heal Thesaurus for one last shot. Maybe that's worth doing, <laughs> right, chat? Like, I don't feel like we have that much more damage to do to this boss. We've done over 40,000. I'm hoping we did closer to 60,000, but I can't tell because we're not allowed to see the boss's HP. Yeah, I'd rather Thesaurus just go in and maybe crit and save it. So he did, like, 6,000, but that's not good enough. Oh, Thesaurus is actually dead. Um... That should still be fine. So maybe if I really pump my speed up, this will matter. I'm just going to use Accelerator to guarantee that... Oh! Wait... Well, hold on, hold on. This says react faster to shoot first, but I can do this to heal. That actually kind of matters if that works the way I think it does. Oh, is that a translation issue? Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that would have been real good to know much earlier, to be honest with you. Uh, okay. I think this should work then. So I could have been accelerating healing this whole time. I thought it only applied to his attacks due to the translation. That sucks. So now she could survive. So that she can heal Thesaurus again. So I have a couple of turns to hit this boss and see what happens. Yeah, that would have been really good to know much earlier in the playthrough. So she's dead no matter what here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use Ambrosia on this character. We're going to hope he has the Dark Ring on and he can finish this. It's down to if I get critical, I think. Because I don't think there's anything else I could do to win at this point. So we have two characters that potentially could have outsped, which does make a difference. So if I do want to retry it next time... I now know I can survive this phase of it, regardless. We did crit, but is this enough is the other question. Hopefully it is. It's not enough. 
<laughs> That's so sad. Chat, we have to be, like, not that far away. I think we did about 65,000 damage. We must be one attack shy of killing this boss. That is so sad. I don't think there's anything I could do to save this. Yeah. Unfortunately, we crit the belly, and also... They killed our other character. I guess I could just try to spam our abilities. I got nothing better to do. Sure, why not? Let's see if boost does anything. Oh, first aid actually triggered. What? Wait, what? Life returner? Wait, you're healing now? Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Wait. Wait, I have a chance? You gave me another turn for some reason? What? Well, that sucks. Um... I would have done something very differently if I thought that was going to do that. That sucks. I mean, if we could trigger him to heal every turn, we win. If this does, like, another 2,000, he might do it again. If this only does 100 or so, we're in trouble. <sighs> I can't tell. Um, I mean, maybe? So we did find, like, some magic threshold the boss will heal. So that's also good to know, but I think it might be too little too late. I mean, if we somehow get another turn, Big Berry here would be huge for us. I'm going to first aid and just attack. We're getting to go again. Hold on, is this the biggest comeback you've ever seen? The Saurus will die. Sadly. I think it's over now. But I still go first. Whatever. Nope. Okay, so we were we were about a thousand shy of resetting him. So I thought we did sadly did not do enough there. So, I feel like the game punished us with super, super painfully terrible RNG. And I don't feel bad at all. That was just BS. <laughs> if the boss had not one-shot hello when we popped the belly with an accidental crit, I think we would have been fine? Question mark? And at least now we know the thing about Accelerator. However, I don't feel it continuing. It is extremely late night. So I think what I'm going to do, chat, since we had such a long session today, I think I'm skipping tomorrow, to be honest with you. I don't think I'm going to go right back into this after I wake up. I, th I think I need a break. <laughs> so let's chat. Unfortunately, there seems to be really, really big gaps in RNG. If, if it did not RNG the light attack, we would have been fine. It is really, really, really unfortunate how random it is and feels just kind of unfun, to be honest with you. So I don't know what level we were supposed to be to defeat this boss, but I think we got really close. As I said before, we did, we did well over 6,500, and the fact that it was healing 8,000 tells me we're probably in the last 10 to 15% of its health. And all we needed the Saurus to do was land one more hit, and if the boss healed the damage the Saurus did every turn, we would win because we out damaged the heal. So, like, we would have gotten there. But it's like, oof. So I, I think the I think the only strategy is to just take it really slow, but there's nothing nothing I can really do against Final Tusk again when it targets hello. If it targets Vicky, it doesn't matter as much. But when it hits hello and he's not able to first aid the minor damage in between, it's kind of a problem. So, just kind of unfortunate. I think the only other thing I can maybe do for damage is that one of the guardians does uh, dark damage. So I could try to nuke the boss in the same scenario next time. It's just kind of like I'm in, a, I'm in a war of attrition and I have to choose between doing damage or taking resistance. So I think the way is there, but unfortunately it is it is still gated by really random RNG. The fact that it did the light attack twice also that one time was really messed up 
because that caused a party kill. So, yeah. Just really disappointed with the quality of bosses in this game. Like, again, this is why, like, when we go to play something like a Tree and Odyssey in the future, I want you to know, like, there are RNG attacks, and that's fine, but the really powerful nonsense ones have a pattern to them. So it's like, the boss cannot use it until it does three other attacks in a row. The boss does it, or potentially every four turns, or the boss does something every five turns. We don't get to see a lot of that in this game. Most of it is just like, teehee, I'm just gonna randomly do the like room clearing encounter thing and there's nothing you can do about it. I think that's kind of like my problem with the Wild Arms bonus bosses, where it's like, I'm just like slightly not strong enough. And like, if there was okay RNG, we would win. But when we get bad RNG on certain transitions, it's just over. Like there's nothing I can really do to close the gap because I'm not hitting for like 30,000 yet. So I have like choices. Like I could in theory try to grind out like Necronomicon. I could try to get three more levels just to get uh, additional damage. At this point, we know if we have elemental weakness of the enemy, our fist attacks do a bazillion damage with this character, so that's like a new damage unlock potentially for him. But ultimately, a lot of it just feels still really out of my control. Things like armor down don't seem to work consistently, speed down just fails arbitrarily. So it feels like there should have been choices to counter it, but then they just don't work. So like, what is what is my takeaway supposed to be when we get into those scenarios? Do you know what I mean? So I wish that if there had been RNG, that there should have been things that were way more consistent. I do feel like it doesn't make sense for the stat downs to be RNG. I'm gonna be honest with you. They should just work or not work. And I'm okay with it always working on our allies or not working on our allies. If the trade-off is that I can actually just land it on a boss, I would 100% take that over the other things for sure. So, oh well. Let's take a break. Well, I think continue this next week. I haven't decided if I want to level more. I feel like I'm really, really close to killing that boss. And it's more like, do I just look up how much HP this thing has so that way I can figure out, oh, if I do exactly X damage until it heals, maybe then I start attacking the belly or something like that if I want to get the full XP. Because I don't think it's a question at this point of like killing it without getting full XP. I think to kill it with full XP, there's too much RNG leading into the moment where it just spams one attack over and over. So I feel like if we can keep the Saurus alive, we can win when it gets to that point. But the big problem is what happens when it just decides to do the ability twice. So I, I think we would be hard locked into Vicky 2 and we would have to play with Hello. because. I, none of the other characters can survive that if they're on the wrong ring, and I don't have enough revives to do that strategy, unfortunately. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Let's take a break. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video of the bot, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.